Best rock band of all time right there. <laughs> Better than that shit they play today. They should play that at the halftime show. Bring those old drug bags out for another go. Are they still alive? Who? The Zepps. Good question. Are they? What are they doing? They should be at the halftime show. Ah, most I heard that he fucked some girls with a shark. Actually, it was a mud shark. One of those small sharks. It was a hotel <laughs> outside. And they got, everybody got fucked up and they fucked girls with the sharks. They're called little mud sharks. True. <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to start today's podcast on a, a sour note, but I'm going to. Will you start with talk instead of fucking breathing like an animal? I'm just uh, getting real psyched to get on that stage. I know, you're envisioning so, it. So I got a message from Saul's daughter up oh, in New Jersey. Shit. About actually an hour ago. Hi, Andrew. Just wanted to let you know that Saul's wife, Marsha, passed away on uh, January January 15th, um, an hour after her 84th birthday. No shit. The funeral was yesterday, so I'm sure Saul would appreciate anyone reaching out to him in the upcoming weeks as he will have a rough time adjusting to life without her. So I'll, I have his number. I'll probably give him a call. Well, Saul, now being a tough guy Our condolences, and a very Saul. helpful guy, he is. Absolutely. I think he can get his head on straight, but sad and so unfortunate. I know some people when their spouse died soon, they very soon they right. they leave after. I just hope that's not the case. That happens. Yeah, I was just going to say that that happens in my job all the time. When an elderly member dies, usually within I'd say one to two months, the other spouse dies. <laughs> yeah, it's so often dying of a broken heart, whatever you want to call it. Sure, it's very common. Probably together a long time. Oh yeah. And it wouldn't surprise me if they met when they were in their teens, you know. Yeah, my grandparents were together for fucking 70 years. They both died. My grandmother died. My grandfather died like a year, maybe a year and later. And you know what? In some cases, later. that's probably the best way to go. In the 90s. Surely after the other one. And be reunited in the afterlife. Yeah. Their bodies are st stuffed in a mausoleum. <laughs> well, well, that's where the soul comes in. Because yeah. if this is all there is, that sucks. So Lenny, I, I it doesn't suck for you. You're having a great time yeah. lately. What the fuck are you talking about? I've been. I wasn't there when you guys filmed at the um, LA Fitness on Gateway yesterday. Was it? No, two days ago when we did the Monday. Golden Corral video. I had to go. So you guys did a video with Jason for his channel, and I'm seeing lots of comments here and there. You, you had some type of a run-in with a guy wearing a yellow shirt. And some people are, I see shit saying, Lenny, back down. What, <laughs> yeah, what, 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 too. When I did my live this morning, it was all, Lenny's a pussy, okay. back down Hold from on. that guy. What exactly happened there? From, you know, give us a play-by-play. Well, -play. I noticed one of these typical bodybuilding freaks that strut around like the bushwhackers have that look, you know, juiced up, a little leaner, you know, little nothing, you know, 100, 200 pound, little nothing. Which 200 pounds, people or people probably think he's big or whatever, but you know. Shit, I'm 200 pounds. <laughs> well, I'm just saying people like me and Big J, Big Lou and them and Calori probably just shit on someone like that. But uh, he said, he gave me a look when he saw my shirt. The I love anal. Right. Like a tuh, like that. And I thought to myself, this is a real piece of work. So I continued to lift. He's pansying around as usual. I was doing my heavy sets of upright rows, 135, perfect form, making it look like it was nothing. And I could have sworn I heard him say out loud, how could you wear that shirt in here? So I said, I'm going to confront him. So I said, Jason, I said, get the camera on me. And of course, Jason, for whatever reason, we asked him about it. Why didn't you get up close? Yeah, I was on the other side. He no. says, because I was scared. See, I'm thinking. Th th as we were just talking about before the podcast started, this is why we need to figure out how to get you wired up, a, a wireless mic. Yeah, well, so I came up to him and I stared at him and I said, I'll see you later. And he looked at me. He extended his hand to shake. I shook his hand. I said, I'm still going to see you later. He said, what do you mean? What do you mean? I said, I'll see you later. But he, didn't he say, I'm, I'm going to see you now or I'm seeing you right now? That's what they read his right. lips, saying, oh, I'm seeing he, you right now. He may have said that. They can't read his lips. They, well, no, he may have said I that, but, see, I, have to but I just said, simply, I'll that's see what you they later. Were comment, that's yes. what they were commenting. They said, you, you said, I'll see you later. And he well, said, well, him to see, see me now. now. What are you going to do now? There's nothing you're going to do now. There's well, what people are you going to do there. later? Jason, well, when Jason, we get to this later, he gets his free shot. That was what I was leading up to. Oh, okay. You know, you want, I don't want to be stupid. I want to get it on film. But I don't want to lose memberships. I don't want to get charges. I don't want to get in that cookie cutter system. Your philosophy is let the other guy throw the first punch, correct? I always said that to remove the liability. You know, if I say that, I'm not going to see you. 
All right, I hope that clears it up. Yeah, <laughs> but that's to say about. I, I well, you know, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I actually I was on the other side. Yeah. What I do know is that these two assholes are this fucking loud mouth is screaming across the fucking gym. Hey, leather daddy, <laughs> leather. And I'm talking to this girl and he keeps screaming. I'm ignoring him on purpose and he sees me ignoring him. So he keeps screaming it. Uh, and she's like, she's look. Yeah, these two are the well, biggest. What I wanted to do is plant. you were having an intense workout. You were doing barbell rows, perfect form off the floor. Your lats were flaring. And I'm saying, Jason, get the camera on me. What are you? You're flapping your yap when you should be continuing your workout, especially for her cottage cheese ass. You should have had her show. And if you want to talk, show her how to squat, show her how to eat, show her what to in, she can inject so she can develop an ass. You know, <laughs> then you could give her the leather daddy treatment. That's all I was trying to do. <laughs> but I got one of the interesting comments from that I saw was he stepped to me. Can someone please explain the gentleman that said that? How did he step to me? You actually walked and across I backed the gym down. to him. Right. It's not like he walked across the gym to you. Right. He's going to answer for those comments. Because like I said, I don't care. Right. It's, you know, I need the practice. I need a confrontation. I need to get back into the physical physicality. Yeah, but, but, of but you don't need to lose a gym membership over it. Or get a silly charge of being right. a cookie cutter system. Right. And you have to go to anger management and have a woman tell me how wrong I am. Be Baker acted like you were a month ago. What the fuck is a Baker Act anyway? <laughs> Do your you own know, version they, of Baker they, Act. They, all, they only call it that in the state of Florida. It's, it's a Florida law. You know, each state has its own term for it, but in it's Florida, it's called law. Baker Act. A cowardly law. Family members calling on their kids because they're afraid of them. I'll Baker Act you. I got power over you. It's with how the weak get power over the strong. How about if I do a Lenny Act? I'm not going to explain what that is, but I'll, next Why time not? I'm going to do I a think Lenny we act. can use our imagination. Why not explain what it is? No, I'd rather not. Okay. <laughs> but you've been Lenny acted. Okay, explain what the fuck it is. Why wouldn't you rather not? Who gives a shit? What's a Lenny act? I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah see, because you're full <laughs> of shit. Takes, you don't have anything planned. It takes a lot of thought. All right, well, maniacs. Let, let's leave that one for the maniacs to come up with. What If someone gets Lenny acted, what does that entail? Oh, they're going to have some... <laughs> Before I forget, I just want to... um. There's a long-time maniac named Eddie Levitt, and I interact with him on Facebook from time to time. He's a good dude, and he just started up his own YouTube channel. It's a live streaming YouTube channel. He asked me if I'd be willing to shout it out on tonight's podcast, and I told him I would. So look up on YouTube, Eddie Jungle, E-D-D-I-E -E Jungle. And um, Eddie, good luck with your YouTube channel, and um, that's it, man. Always good chatting with you on Facebook from time. Sure it's not Eddie Jungle Bunny. Oh, uh, boy, I knew that was fucking coming. I got to read something, too, here. These people send me these fucking DMs, man, and it's like a week goes by and I forget. Well, they know when they know we're going to be doing the podcast, that's when they ask. No, but this is every day. Podcast. Hey, for the next podcast, can you ask this? For the next... You get them more than I do. And uh, it's... Uh, I only get I them on the day where to, of the I don't podcast. even know where to go now. I don't even fucking... Well, Brad, we need to thoroughly review those. We, we have some hidden gems in there. We like that feedback and communication I have this is an interactive it's channel. always 99 plus requests well, we need to sit down and discuss them i have a few I, questions to get to but i'll, I'll get to them later this. there's no such thing as can't and then they, they message, on this podcast they message me on, there's no such thing as can't no, but see what they don't get is they message this maybe shit. on the other podcasts okay let's just let they message me shit on snapchat which it disappears after you fucking read it so message me on fucking instagram because it doesn't get deleted it's constant with these fucking people Lenny, I have something to read. This was an article in today's New York Post. It says, the title is, One in 10 women never feel confident during sex. Ready? Listen to this. One in 10 women are self-conscious in the bedroom, according to a new research about body and sexual confidence. The survey conducted, conducted by online health care clinic Euroclinics found that 10% of women never feel confident about their body or ability during <laughs> ability during sex compared to just three percent of men. The survey was based on interviews with two thousand adults in the UK. I'm getting to the reason why I'm reading this. But when it comes to certain sexual positions, women feel the most confident on the bottom, with forty percent saying the. I, I never bring my glasses when I'm gonna have to read this shit. I'll never learn. With 40% saying the missionary position was the most comfortable for them. But you gotta say that. In contrast, 
Being on top was the worst sexual position for body confidence, with 21% of women admitting that their that the cowgirl position made them feel the least secure about their bodies. So 40% of women say the missionary position was the most comfortable for them in terms of confidence. Obviously, women like being dominated by men, and that's how it should be. Although there's reverse, some like to reverse explore. Reverse cowgirl. What is that? You know what a reverse cowgirl is? No. Are you serious? <laughs> Where they ride you backwards. See, I don't. Where you can, like Jay says, with the with the uh, throttle on the motorcycle, a thumb their butthole while they're while they're riding you backwards. <laughs> I forgot about that. Remember, one. remember when Jay was talking yeah. about that? Yeah. I actually had a girl thumb my butthole when I was on top of her Saturday nights, <laughs> and it helped keep my limpness at bay a little bit. But I don't know. I don't get into the cookie cutter position. How did you get her over to your? I ship? met her the day before in the club. I got her number. I was talking it up with her. She was drunk. She was drunk that night. She asked me where I was. I said, well, they kicked me out the day before. I didn't want to come back. She goes, I'm drinking now. My cousins, can I come over? Sure. I gave her the address. She pulled up. I walked out naked. It was dark outside. I could hear. <laughs> she had heels on. I hear the heels clicking. What time of night was this? It's about 12 o'clock. I actually, <clears throat> well, I don't want to say it, but uh, she had turned the light on. So I turned the light on in our back porch area, which everyone's seen in many videos. And she looked down at my package and she smiled. I don't know if she was laughing at me or she liked it or what. Maybe both. Why? Were you a stack of dimes? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh -huh. But she's like, <laughs> uh, I got a pee. And as you guys see from Michelangelo's picture of my toilet, it was in that same condition that night oh, as he no. came over early in the day. So I said, you can't. I said, I don't want you. you know, I just met you. It's going to be embarrassing. So I said, I have a piss square right here. So she had those camouflage yoga tights on, skin tight, pulled them all the way down. She squatted down, and she pissed in the piss square. Classy girl. Yeah. So then she's like, I'm coming in. I said, well, you can't. No, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not a good presentation I want to see. So I came, and I didn't turn the light, and she's why like. Would you, why would you tell her to come to your house if, for her not to come in? I mean, what the fuck are you this thinking? Is, this I, is, just, I was just going to get off on having her see me coming to the, being outside naked. This is why it's good to keep your house clean, because you never know when you're going to have an unexpected well, house guest. Well, at the end of the day, it was irrelevant. So you thought by coming outside naked that she would just turn around and fucking leave? No, I just thought I'd get a little thrill, you know, expose myself to somebody like that. <laughs> you didn't think she was at a clinic and do the deed. She didn't bat well, she, was, she was drinking. She actually threw a big one of those 32-ounce cans of Budweiser in the yard. I showed her the brat the other I day. I saw the next day. Yeah, just like, gonna, is that yours? I'm like, no. I'm she threw it out that. in the yard. But she goes, can I come in? She came in, and it was like a little bit of residual light from this outdoor light. She said, look. She says, Lanny, 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 you need help. <laughs> she goes, that better not be mold on your floor. I said, no, it's dirt from when I get out in the shower and I don't I never use a towel and it goes on the floor well why don't you mop but I said well, why should I you know and she goes Lenny 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 <laughs> and she goes let's go I want to see your bedroom so I came in turn the light on she's looking at my bed she's like I see a blood stain here I see looks like pus and she goes what's this uh, and she goes pus? she goes she goes I'm gonna lay down in here and you know she says but you got to clean your place up I mean she said, would you what do you what would your mother think of this I said, I don't want her to come in here. And she's like, yeah. She goes, I'm a mother too. And she's like, so she says, all right. She goes, I want that dick up inside me. I said, okay. Pull my pants, took my shorts off. She took out, she had white panties, which she showed me. She goes, see how clean they are? Because that was unusual. No piss or shit stain. And then Unusual. She, yeah, then she had, you know, took off the tights and the heels. She laid down. I mean, for 55, it was dark. She's Bahamian. Thick, short cropped hair. And then I was touching her thighs. They were solid as hell, usually, as an athlete. But I got on top of her. I put it inside. Three minutes, everything's going good. And then she had to keep sticking her hand up there and jerk it to make keep it, keep it harder. And I was having trouble doing it. Wait, to keep you harder or to keep herself moist? To keep her hard. Now, she was moist. Then I went back and I licked her pussy. She says, oh, oh, Lenny, this is too much. She goes, I got piss all up in me. I said, well, it tastes good. She goes, <laughs> Lenny, oh, <laughs> See, it's nice to hear these stories, and it's actually about a woman. I know. You know? Yeah. It's, well, yeah, it was good. Did you, you, know? did you remember, too? <laughs> well, when then I got back on top of her, I get three good minutes where she's moaning and groaning, and then you could tell it's like it's getting soft, so she gave me the thumb up the butthole. Plus, she said, <laughs> you know, tell me, how, <laughs> tell me how hard my ass was. What's she doing Friday night? She never felt it. <laughs> I don't think I have plans. She actually goes to, she's a community <laughs> organizer. 
she actually goes to community Tallahassee organizer. with the older people, the senior citizens in the black community and go, bitch for rights. You know, one of those types. But that figures. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what you need for this girl. Come over and do that. So you hear this, maniacs? A community? Yeah, one of those organizer. types, those liberal types. But just so the maniacs understand, anybody can get... If Leonard can get laid, <laughs> anybody can get laid. <laughs> if he can bring a woman in that shithole and actually fuck her, there's hope for anybody. So I said, turn around. Yeah. Turn it around. Stick that butt up in there. Turn she goes, what are you going to do? But obviously you can't be picky. She goes, don't tell me you're going to do what I think you're doing. I said, no. And I stuck the tongue up there. Oh, Lenny. <laughs> I thought I was going to get a dick up in there. Oh, Lenny. I rimmed a but good she's perfectly clean moaning and groaning and then i says <laughs> i said in like a mother i told her then i stopped licking i said call me your bitch while i'm licking she's what she goes uh-uh she turned around and she goes don't be saying that shit she goes you're a man i don't want to hear that shit good she goes i don't like it she goes and she says to me again what would your mother think of it I said, what would the hell with my mother? I don't want to know. Girls call me a bitch. But she's like, you're a man, and you need to stop that shit. She goes, I heard those other girls talking about you in the club. I said, that's what I like. That's what I get off. She goes, well, you need help. Yeah, but you obviously also get off on an actual woman. Of course, I always did. But uh, it's, it's not to where I'm totally interested now because she doesn't want to fulfill my fantasies. That's what it's all about, the role play and such. And if she doesn't want to do that for me... You know, what she thinks a man might like, you know, it's not like I'm going to beat down the bush, but she goes, she goes, I'll come over here again, but this place better be cleaned up. I said, okay, I'll give you a call. And that was it. So you'll never be, call call, the other never day, be though, calling her again. She just said she missed me, you know, in the cold weather. You know, she liked, liked to uh, cuddle up on a cold day. I said, well, I don't think we're going to get anymore. That's she can the point. lay down and make snow angels in the dirt on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, tomorrow night it's going to get cooler again. Yeah, yeah. Clean your fucking place up, Leonard. But this is not the point. It would take you two hours. You, you don't even need a mop, just a broom. I'll give you one. I have two in the garage. Just sweep just sweep the yeah. shit out the door. Clean your sheets. Yeah. Pus? But you know what? Come on, man. Was there really pus on your sheets? You know, it's just a little... Here's here's knows who knows it's what. It's snow, snot, spit, piss, shit. Yeah, all those things that I was like... It's just, for me, that's not... I like the fact that she came in all filthy. I like the fact that she came over, didn't know me, and just did it. And she she admitted she was drunk. She didn't want to do that. You know, I kind of like that. Oh, fact. of course. Oh, I was drunk. I don't normally do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like the fact that you know she actually cared about me. And you know, I, I have to admit a lot there's of this, one a lot of there's a lot of standards myths standards where they can blame alcohol. We can't though. A lot of those yeah. myths going around, but I mean, it's just. You know, I'd rather have a girl coming over and saying that shit to me because it's like a fantasy role play and it gets me off and it brings you down where you need. You don't need a girl as a man. You do that in the business world. You do that in the gym. You do that in the in the octagon. You do it in the boxing ring, the wrestling ring. you do it on the football field. But as Tony Atlas and many others, Mike Tyson. But you want to be the bitch. You have bitch. to. Yeah, that's a, there's an appropriate place for it to be done. You have to reach that level to be able to reach the other level, and I'm convinced of that. And Tony Atlas is definitely the, at the forefront of that. All I was doing it just as long as him, he could ask Andrew Kalora. But if you look at Tony Atlas. The former wrestler. Still the wrestler, yes. Yeah, he still wrestles? He has a thing where he's got videos, beat women beating the hell on him. He was having women beating him in the ring, and I remember watching a documentary with Andrew Kalora. I said, I know he's into that in real life, and it turns out he says the same thing to me. So if there's something to that, Mike Tyson as well. And Joe Rogan, you and your little softball interviews. I think Joe Rogan is a pretty boy. With the, with who, Mike Tyson? Yeah. Yeah, that was weak. I think Joe Rogan's a pretty boy. So much He's got delusions there. of grandeur. I think that guy couldn't fight his way out of a paper bag. And I don't think he knows what a real man is. He lines those, being my age, when those little spoiled little babies are. And if he had the guts to debate me on some of these topics on his radio show, we might have a thing. But... He'll never. If you don't take me now, when I'm having my own, the Maniacs is going to be the top podcast, which, mark my words, it will be very soon. <laughs> well, they have. To I may consider you, but you'll be such a nobody has been back then, Mr. Softball. Because once the top guests want to come on our podcast, what's going to happen? Yeah, he does do some softball interviews, that's yeah. for sure. There's a lot of shit he could ask them. 
So if you come on there and, and debate me, Joe, let's debate the philosophy of life. And anything you want to challenge me on physically or anything like that, I'm up for it. Because you're the great Joe Rogan, Mr. Fear Factor. <laughs> you could have went on that show, too. I'd embarrass the hell out of him. <laughs> He's the one that eats the worms, right? Or makes other people eat the worms. He, yeah. would, he wouldn't do it, but he well, hosted the show. He's going to be eating worse. All kinds of weird shit. I never really got into that show. A lot of it had to do with Gross. being underwater, heights, things that people normally have phobias. He's going to be under so. He's gonna be under some piss real soon. Golden shower from Leonard. They, were, they once, a while ago, there was a whole movement to try to get you on his podcast, and everybody was tagging Joe Rogan in a whole bunch of Instagram posts. It never panned out, but it, I remember. Do they understand you I give the yeah, people what they want? Does the WWE understand it? Is Hunter Hearst Hemsley Paul Levesque, who's copying my look with the beard and the bald head? I don't who? know who the fuck who? is. Never heard of her. Good. That's Paul what, Levesque? That's, that's appropriate. Vec. Paul Levesque. But Rogan had said that he doesn't bring people on that ask him to come on. He brings on people that he wants to bring. Did I ask you to come on, you punk? <laughs> <laughs> that's what the people want. Do you know business? You bring those fruitcakes on there left and right. Oh, he's got he's he's soon gonna have fucking Kanye West on. Oh, Can't God. wait to see how bad that is gonna be. Let's see if he gives a softball interview to him too. <laughs> Just reminds me of those typical spoiled kids I used to go to school with that had all the stuff and I didn't simply because my father refused to get not that he could afford it. He knew it would ruin me down the end of the road. And I'd have nothing growing up. Yeah, Maybe a football out turned out great, a baseball, you? a basketball. A hockey stick, a hockey puck, and maybe some Spider-Man comic books that I had. Where Joe had all the had all the Atari games, all the Rubik's cubes, all the Cabbage Patch kids. <laughs> <laughs> Probably fucked them in his bed. And now you live in abject fucking misery in a goddamn shithole. I wouldn't say that. Okay. One man's misery is another man's paradise. Okay. It would be a misery for him. He couldn't take it. Who could? With his little you. fucking where does he hot live? Tubs. California. Yeah. Probably some big palatial mansion out in California with the rest of the vegan creeps. He's a, <laughs> he's a big vegan. I know he is. No, he hunts his own. He hunts for his own meat. What's he hunt for? Fucking rats? They don't have meat out in California. Isn't that what he's elk. known for? Elk, yeah. Yeah. And Elk came across his he path. He'd he shit himself. He does bow hunting in. Sounds like Dale Chance. Yeah. Why don't you hunt with your bare hands like they did in the old days? Then I'll be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hunted Leonard? Yeah. Did you? Tranny hunted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you gave him the bounce pass for, know, the, for, the, know, for the layup there. All right. So I'm going to read this now because I need to just get this shit. Right. Hey, Brad, it's Sean from South Africa. May you please ask Lenny the following question for me on the next podcast. So I'm currently 18 years old and I've been training for about three years, but only eating and training properly for about one. I want to be able to play rugby at a high level. And I also want to take my physique and strength to the next level. Does Lenny recommend I take anything in terms of SARMs or PEDs? Please try mention exact dosages. For further information, my weight is currently 190 pounds, height is 5'10", my bench is about 250, and my squat is 405. Don't worry about anything for two years. You have plenty of hormone in it naturally. Work on the mental aspect. You work on the things they tell you, you can't do, your limitations. You, when you go on a football field or an athletic event, you say to yourself, I'm the best, the fastest, the meanest, the toughest son of a bitch, or don't go on that field at all. And number two, there's never an excuse to miss a meal or training. Never. If you want it bad enough, you get that mindset. Get away from the cookie cutter mindset. Listen to the coaches. And it's all about you. Even team sports, there's no such thing. If you're doing 100% as part of a basketball team, a football team, a baseball team, the team's going to get better. You worry about yourself. How in the fucking hell are you going to help another teammate get better? They call it a team sport. What the hell are you going to do to help them? The only thing you can do is lead by example and show them. When there's silly stuff going on in the locker room, when they're playing rap music, when people are dancing or fluttering away and you're acting real serious, you get up in their fucking face. Say, but I don't ever see that again. So what are you going to do about it? And you start swinging on them. Well, he wants to get bigger and increase his strength. Well, eating, compound movements, and aggression. You know, people understand, me and Andrew and I were so strong was we get on that truck and we get ourselves in a we get ourselves in a frenzy and then we come in and someone would say, Hey, how are you doing? Mostly a guy giving us bullshit and would flatten us and we got real pissed off. But our best is when we come in there and all those pretty girls they had, that was in the nineties, they'd come in there, they come in with their gear, their expensive cars, you know, the nightclub types all juiced up. 
We'd watch them come in, and we went in there and said, no fucking way in hell, none of them are going to outlift us on anything. We're going to take whatever they're doing and double it in weight and double it in reps and make them look like a joke. And that's what we did. That's why a lot of them didn't like us. We burst their bubble. They weren't doing that shit. And the girls there with them looking at us, how come you're not as strong as them? And all the little pretty boy shit didn't help. And we were bleeding and sweating and we were hairy. <laughs> and we had we had big guts and we'd scream and yell. I wish somebody would animate these stories that he yeah. has. How fucking I wish we'd have fucking thing. filmed it. You know, like when we get down a set in a packed gym and all of us would say Pic Sick of this shit Picture the Brad, picture the old old world gym. The old one where, where Planet Fitness now is. It was Lenny. I remember being in there. Saul, Big Richard, Andrew Kalora. I was there. There was that fucking trainer with the bear claw marks on his back. You remember him? Quine like, Wolf. Correct. Sherry Lee. Everybody like, in their prime at the time. Sherry Lee, the nicest fucking ass Every in the world, and better looking than Pamela Anderson. She's another yeah. one, never reached her full potential. That old world gym made the world gym where we did the Delray Missing videos look like a, a church. Sherry Lee was one of the most gorgeous blondes you could imagine. Body, too. I know. Lou showed me pictures. She's, yeah. and She's hot. He used to eat gummy bears out of that ass. <laughs> He used to hit. He had no fear. Guys were, I'll admit, I was intimidated. I think Andrew Clora was too. I remember one time I wasn't with Andrew and I was doing seated calf and she was a trainer and she wore those black tights. And I remember going up and then she pushed the weight down and I'd lift it up and she's looking at me. She's like this and she's going like that. And I was thinking, she made it look like it was a dick. You know, I was like, I was speechless. <laughs> I couldn't say anything. <laughs> she came up to Andrew once and said she liked his mustache. And he's like, in a, he's like freezing up. She was that hot, huh? When he saw, when Andrew saw her at Boynton World the first time, he said he was sick to his stomach. <laughs> you don't say that about a girl much. No. She looked like a, a she looked like a statue. I mean, it's harder. It's well, harder she was to created by a man, George Johnson, the trainer that had Andrew was filming him naked for his show. He he knew how to create a woman. That was her father. No, he was her. Tra he was a trainer. He's a guy that lives on the intercoastal, but he he had knew how to train a girl, and he would eject her with winstrol right in her ass. He had all the girls squatting, eating a certain way. Winstrol's painful, though. Yeah, but not too better, bad. It's better oral. It's, eh? it's be I'd rather girls inject winstrol and silicon, and everybody seems to be doing it like it's nothing. Yeah, no, Look at all the horror stories. A lot of that now. Lenny, I have a question for you from Jesse. Lenny. You pressure turd pusher. I have always I've always wanted your opinion of the power bodybuilder Jimmy the Iron Bull or other known as Jimmy the Bull. Do you find him impressive? I did. He trained with reckless abandon. Some of the things he did were outrageous. He could really made himself a cripple, but he had a willpower to go in and do what nobody else did. And he was also a concert pianist. He's a very talented man. And he was a sexual freak. I remember him going into detail about sucking women bodybuilders and large clits, sucking to the point where they're coming like a man. He got into that shit big time. It's amazing how he knows all this shit. I know. You don't forget that shit. And you look at some of my old muscular development magazines, he had that bald head, which he should have shaved, you know, the hair in the back, but. Like what you have going freaking right now? massive, yeah. I mean, getting under a thousand pounds on the bench and doing four reps and shit like that. Especially 500 pound skull crushers, which I mean, there's a little, it's like a half press, but still nonetheless to get under that weight. It's just his thing was to lift more than anybody and get in there and fucking do it. And then Jesse has a question for you and me, Brad. When you first started the videos and got all the attention from the maniacs, did you think back then you guys ever, you guys would ever have such a weird fan base? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> You know when I first realized I wouldn't say it's not that it's weird it's just intent man they, they fucking it's well, intense I, I first realized how I don't know crazy or weird but how passionate and intense and I hate the word fan base I'll say viewers are and this is like one of my all time favorite ments if you were to ask me what is my favorite ment of all time remember when the maniacs and piss troopers got the physique of the week website shut down Oh, yeah. Remember that? Because they submitted Jason's picture up against like five actual bodybuilders and Jason won by a landslide because it's done by internet voting. <laughs> he like got, you know, 600% more votes than all these other, you know, cookie cutter jerks. Who obviously look and, better than him. Right. Of course, they deserved it. One of them did. And 
even though Jason won based on the vote fair and square, they gave that week's physique of the week competition to the runner up because, you know, they thought Jason was a joke. The piss trooper. Which he was. <laughs> yeah. They went nuts. They got the whole fucking website shut down. <laughs> and that was when I realized, holy shit, we have like, <laughs> what have we created here? Even though those were most of Jason's. Um, piss troopers at the time, but still, it's sort of one and the same. I like to classify that as being a non cookie cutter. They saw that cookie cutter physique of the week, and we're going to put it to our terms. I'm proud of them, exactly I'm glad right. to be aligned with them. When you think you do your own thinking, and instead of first thinking, what does society want? What do my parents who are brainwashed as well? There is a thing <laughs> as honor your father and mother, but you do that. By being a strong-willed person with yeah. character that's a non-cookie-cutter conformist. When I think of all of the quote-unquote menti things that have happened over the years, that to me is one of the most underrated events in, in this whole ridiculous, you know, Genovaverse saga. Physique of the week. I don't even know if that website ever recovered from that. <laughs> I think it stayed <laughs> shut down. <laughs> Their Facebook page, everything, done. It's fucking Goodbye. Well, let's start a new one. How about freak of the week? Who wants to hear the words physique and fitness don't belong in a gym. It's passive. People want to see monsters. They want to see freaks. They want to see things that everyone's never. When I see women, I want to see freaks. I want to see trannies. I want to see women with asses so round, teeth so white, and tongues so long. It makes me want to lose, <laughs> bust a nut, piss, and shit my pants all in the same time. And vomits. <laughs> Now you got a winner, and then you move on to the next one. It's an evolutionary process. Nothing should ever remain constant and stagnant. Stagnant water will kill you. You know about that, Brad. Sipping stagnant pool water as a kid, and then you have diarrhea for the <laughs> You're right. When you swallow pool rock, oh, water, yeah. it does Your dad told me about yeah. that at the yeah. party. Yeah. You're swallowing pool piss water. So, that, so this is the, the new deal here. We're going to start instead of physique of the week. Send in the pictures. Freak of the week. <laughs> Who's it going to be? <laughs> and it could be anything. You could have a freaky penis. You could have a freaky small penis. You could have a big <laughs> clit. You could have hemorrhoids sticking out of your yeah. ass like the girl at Diamond Dolls. She was dancing yesterday and they look like worms coming out of you her ever see that? Oh, Leonard, you, what the You ever fuck? see that guy from Bangladesh they call tree hands? Like, it looks like he's got tree bark growing yeah. out of his hands. It's some form of HPV virus or... Uh, I was reading an article about him the other day. All right, so when it comes to Freak of the Week, live. there's no discrimination. Yeah. There's right. no parameters. Freak of the Week. There is discrimination. You better be a freak. You look like one of those commonplace cookie-cutter men's physique Jack Stein clones. <laughs> You're going to be called out. You hear that, Mr. Stein? You got bigger, but you still look like a normal man. I want to see you looking like a freak. I'd rather you have the surgery and turn yourself into a tan, tan, tan with take Milana tan, get yourself a wig, get your tits and ass done. Oh, my God. And, you know, let's see, see put some Botox in those lips and cheeks ears, and I'll be impressed. He's too pasty for you. You like him darker. That's what Milana tan's for. Just think, any, you, anybody can turn himself into a tan, tan, tan these days. I can tell you how to do it. Milana tan. I'll, I'll sleep better tonight yeah. knowing that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <great. laughs> and Jack, if you're not going to show hey. monumental improvements, we're going to get we're going to get you turned in one by force. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Time to shift the conversation away from that bullshit. Lenny, you should go to medical school and become like some world-renowned surgeon where you can transform anyone into a tan tan tan. You're right, but you know what? I don't think there's such a thing for medical school. You have the internet. I don't think there's a need for school. You can learn anything you want on the phone. It's literally amazing. It's at your fingertips. That's true. What a scam school. What a fucking scam. You, all you hear is everybody saying they're going to pay back loans. For what? It's yeah. free. And most of the people who are paying back those loans aren't even, you know, when it comes to their occupation or profession, aren't even in the field right. that they spent all that money to study for. Because they've been scammed. It's the right. hottest thing. Everything's a scam. Plus, you're getting update information on the internet. At, at, at universities, you're getting stuff that's 10 years old, outdated info. People, you don't need this shit anymore. You don't need to go and give money to a church. You have a Bible. You go out and live. When you interact with people, that's how you learn to conduct yourself. The money's not for the church. It's for the pastor. Exactly. exactly. So they can drive their right. fucking jaguar. What did Jesus drive? What money did he ever ask for? Nothing. 
I, I work with a guy who's a mailman. He's also a pastor. Very, he does he's a scam artist. He drives, he's got a Jaguar. He's got a cattle. Oh, really? What does he need to do I'm a wedding? Shit. Why does he I, need to be at a wedding? I have coworkers who give 10% of every one of their paychecks to their quote unquote church. Yeah. Can you fucking believe that? What a racket. What we, could, we could start our own church, actually. We could start our own religion. Sure, this is a church. Say. This is we we go over moral yeah. values here. Misfitologists, you, you you're helping <laughs> one another even when you criticize them. The Church of the Misfits. Even if you church, even if you beat somebody up, you're helping them. What's the old saying? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I mean, look at Jesus. Him and his followers. They went through hell. They got their ass kicked, harassed, but they kept they kept doing what they were doing. He didn't ask for money ever. So how dare a human being say to give them money? How dare you? That goes for all those preachers too. They're trying to do a thing where they're paying off people's credit card well, debts. You got to keep the lights on. What's what good's that yeah. going to do? Because all they want to do is they, well, they do they, money management because people aren't tithing enough. Because they say they don't. So what do they do? All they do in the churches, Joel Steen, is preach money management. Why? Some more can go to them. Exactly. That Joel Steen needs to be called out. That little well, creep with the, with the <laughs> mullet and the flames. Predators can't exist without prey. I mean, the people exactly. who are giving them the money are yeah. equally as culpable. They're very weak-minded. Is this podcast 48? I have no idea. Yeah, I'll put it up. For, 48? Yeah, I think it's 48. Yeah. Is that your phone, Leonard? I want you to answer it. Maybe it's a maniac that wants to get on the podcast. Good. Put it on speaker. I love when he tries to answer and he keeps yeah. with the phone. Fat thing. Hey, how are you? How are you? Are you okay? Yeah, how about you? I'm good. I'm awesome. I just was calling to see what happened to go to Korea. Yeah, there should be a video up. I'll send you the link. Actually, I'll send it to your phone. Uh, it went okay. I mean, the food there isn't that good. <laughs> yeah, what you say? The food ain't good? No, it wasn't that good. It wasn't that good. Um, how many plates you ate? Five. Five plates. You did eat five plates. Yeah. I wish you were on one of those plates. Huh? I wish you were on one of those plates. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. She's speaking English. Oh, my God. Yeah. Jesus. It's like the guys from the movie Airplane, remember? For speaking <laughs> jive. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, honey, I'll give you a call. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Actually, I'm finishing up a podcast, but. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Is that? Okay, thank you. Love you. Bye. Thank you. Okay. W was she speaking English? Did you just tell her you loved her, Leonard? Sure. What in the fuck? Because she has. She's trying to straighten me out, and some things I need to be straight. We've been trying to straighten you out too. You don't say. You're well, right. See, him and Jason will listen to women. Yeah, they will. I don't see a pussy between your legs, although I don't know for sure, Brad. <laughs> we get you in them leather chaps at the Fol Folsom Street Fair. That's where we need to go oh next. Take you to the Folsom Street Fair in leather. How do you... Does she you normally speak fantasies. like that? I don't I just. I just met her for Friday. It's like this... Was that the one you fucked Saturday night? Right. <laughs> it's, like, it's like jive with a southern accent. Well... I met her Friday, fucked her Saturday. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Andrew approved. Can only understand one out of every five words she says. Hey, you got the language of love, man. That's what's so good about it. Doesn't I don't have matter. to. I don't have to hear the bullshit. That's right. I get right through. That's Just why I like Creole so head. much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear it. Oh, cool. Oh, I don't feel good today. <laughs> I think I'm going to go out and, with these young men. Then I'll send you a picture of these young men that all want me. They all think I'm 20. <laughs> I don't want to hear that Go shit. Go out and get white girl wasted. Yeah. <laughs> and then if all of a sudden you're getting cops at your door, we don't want to investigate you for a possible rape. <laughs> yeah. They all like to cry rape, don't they? They don't care. Yeah, they can you can do 40 years. They don't care. Floozy and then wonder why they get fucking gang banged. <laughs> but the th again, the concept of rape, a girl can accuse you of it, but next day she can go around and spread her legs for a bunch of you-know-whats. And not, and in her mind, that's not rape, but she, you can get 40 years and they can't get, because whatever she's thinking in her stupid brain that day, <laughs> something's wrong with that, and the Arabs are 100% around their policies. The woman accuses rape ended up getting the punishment. 
And that's how it should be because she wasn't with her father. She wasn't with her husband. She wasn't with her brothers. She wasn't with a man to defend her. Otherwise, you're a whore. You're a liar. And you deserve it. Wow. End of story. Women should not be going out by themselves. Not. And then cry and rape. Makes yeah. no sense. <laughs> it's like Brad wearing his leather chaps without underwear. And he wonders why he gets ogled and uh, fondled when he's walking down Broward Boulevard late at night. <laughs> Something's going to happen with all his junk hanging out <laughs> and his big squatter's ass, his tight squatter's ass oh my with the chaps squatter. smoking that cigar. You are such a flaming right, so, homo. So B. Torres, who's okay, a... Okay, good. I was going to read his. Yeah, yeah, B. Yeah. Torres is a regular contributor to the podcast with his deranged questions. B. Torres writes us... <clears throat> I assume this is to you and me, Brad. Gun to your head. Well, what caliber is it? Would you rather wrap yourself in Lenny's shit-covered sheet on his recliner? Don't think we didn't see that, Lenny. Sleep face first. Oh, you guys are good. Yeah, you guys are good. Because I'm not wearing underwear. You're going to get a skid mark on the sheet. You guys are very good. Sleep face first with no sheets on Jay mattress oh, on God. Jay's mattress in his truck. Imagine the stench nose or wear Jason's blue shorts and that ugly gray hoodie of his all day. You know it hasn't been washed before. Decisions, decisions. How about the bullet? I think my decision is to not read your questions anymore, B. Torres. Yeah, <laughs> it's you know, my stupid, decision. No, stupid, actually. Yeah. Um, no. I wasn't very clever. Probably wear Jason's clothes, okay. I guess. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty easy one, actually. You gotta do better than that, B. Torres. Yeah, come on, man. I'm schlepping. That was a good question, actually. Wearing Jason's clothes? Wrap ourselves in your sheet or lay face first in Jay's I mean, un... You should have said, like, you know, eat the cucumber he used. That would have... <laughs> oh, boy. Shout out to Bookie Basher for his picks this weekend, this past weekend. And let's hear what he's got for the Super Bowl. Also, New World Nutritionals, the finest way isolate, and buy research liquids for all your... Peptide, anti-estrogen, and SARMs needs. Buy research liquids. Tell them Big Lenny sent you. That may get you something. Right. And not only that, go there because you guys are constantly messaging me and asking us, where can we get good SARM? Where can we get... Buy, buy research, research liquids. Yes. There it is. The best of the best. It's very good. One of good the longest shit. running companies ever still to this day. And it's going to even get better. We're getting new additions good coming Good prices, soon. fair, everything. Good quality. Yeah. 100%. It's excellent. Also... Chance Apparel and New Universal Order for all, the, all they've done, all the entertainment they've given. Here's an article. This is a couple weeks old, but I don't know if you read about this, Lenny. Man's attempt to treat back pain with semen injections goes horribly wrong. Did you I read heard about, about this? That. A nutty Irishman landed in the hospital after he took matters into his own hands to treat his back pain. Who, Conor McGregor? <laughs> by injecting himself with his own semen, according to a report. After injecting himself month, monthly for a year and a half, oh, the unidentified 33-year-old, his own semen, I assume, the unidentified 33-year-old developed a subcutaneous abscess in his arm, as well as emphysema and edema, excess fluid under his skin. The man said he had been injecting his own semen, okay, that clarifies it, without medical advice as a quote-unquote innovative method to treat his lower back pain. Has he ever heard of a heating pad? <laughs> he, he, <laughs> Jesus. He, he revealed that he injected one monthly dose of semen for 18 consecutive months using a hypodermic needle he bought online. The patient was treated with an intravenous antimicrobial drip but he decided to discharge himself without allowing doctors to drain the local collection. All right, I'm done reading that shit after that. What in the fuck? Is Key word. It wasn't the semen. It said he purchased one hypodermic needle. So you have one needle. He's injecting himself over and over again with the same bacteria infested needle. Yes. That bacteria multiplies. There's his answer. I have never heard of that protocol before. If anybody could show protocol. some research where it's done before, <laughs> protocol. I can understand where he's coming from. Other than that, he's like those adults, and they're still adults that smear shit on the wall. Wait, what do you mean you can understand where <laughs> wait, he's coming wait, from? Wait, what do you wait, mean by wait. that? I would understand where he's coming from if somebody had done that previously. Uh -huh. And there's some an anecdotal information of this therapy being used successfully. However, like I said, there's, he falls in the line of those adults. There's still people that eat their own shit. 
They're in the domain. They're in the institutions. I guarantee you, you go right here and you look at <laughs> confidential medical records. But, there's adults that are found eating their own shit, yeah. smearing <laughs> on the wall. Or when Brad was a little kid, he used yeah, to paint the walls of his house. There we go. With shit. <laughs> and a lot of young people that do was, that. He that obviously has grown out of it. Well, yeah, it's normal. But you grow out of it. I may have done it too. My father punched me in the face. I think I'd stop that my painting <laughs> career real quick. I would have been the next uh, Picasso, but <laughs> that's very common. But there's many adults that do that. You'd be surprised at some of the things. Like I said before, there was a girl in the mental hospital I worked at when I worked at the hospital. It was right next door. She was at home and she took a pair of scissors and poked out each eye. Then after that, she cut her lips off with the same scissors. And she was a young girl in her 20s that was somewhat attractive. No. How the hell do you do that? What drugs was she high on? I don't know, but to poke this beep, beep, and then she literally cut it, because she was all bandaged up in the hospital and everyone was talking about it. I mean, I mean, it's supposed to be confidential. People, you can't keep that shit secret. To cut her lips off with it. Oh, There's people that swallow pins and needles. They find steel. They steal. They well, you heard it. about <clears throat> girls that are cutters. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And girls that like to put rubber bands around their fingers, as you know, one of them that knows us, that I'm not going to mention any names, taking pictures of that. I mean, what kind of sick stuff is that? Any rubber band around what, a finger. To cut, yeah. off, to cut off the circulation? Yes. What does that accomplish? <laughs> I don't know. Same thing as injecting semen in your back, Right, I guess. but there's very, very strange things going on, and I like to look at nutrient deficiency and dehydration even beyond when any type of drug they're taking. To make you lose your mind. Right. I think the certain key nutrients that a lot of vegans are lacking, there's B vitamins, amino acids are so crucial for healthy brain function as well as essential fats. That anything missing growing up causes serious problems. Back in the day, they would say they're demon possessed. I mean, you got to look at logical explanation, nutrition. Do you believe in possession, Lenny? Uh, yes, but not in the direct term where, say, the exorcist, something outlandish like that. But I hey, believe. You know a lot of Haitians, and so do I. In, in the voodoo culture, they believe very strongly in possession, where spirits from the past will you know, possess. Your well, like they say, if the mind could seize it, the. If it's conceived in the mind, the body follows through. So you think it's psychosomatic? Yes, I do. I think I'm more in that. Pr it's pretty obvious like that. I mean, there are unexplained things, but... And some say you control everything. You can't control everything, but you can keep yourself on a certain track mm -hmm. to where you ward things off. Don't ever look for perfection. Just keep looking at life as a journey and experience every part of it. And stay away from things, obviously, and end your life or something like that. We were talking about that on the way here. Right. About dying. What did you say? Never worry about dying. Ever. There's nothing to worry about. Because yeah, you won't know. Exactly. That's what something you never fear. I mean, obviously, don't do anything stupid. Again, you know, people might talk about me and some of the practices I've done. Well, the w most dangerous thing for anybody is getting in your car, starting it up. Even more dangerous than my bike, because I'm always on the sidewalk. It's a scary thing. It's a scary place. You got to expect, prepare for the unexpected. And worrying will get you nowhere. Because oh. everybody's dying. You can't, you can't complain or cry or worry about shit that you can't change. That's for sure. That's just you can way. change it, though. Some things you can't. You can. There's anything you can. I believe anything you can change. I had a talk with Lou about can that the other day. you change the color of the sky? If you wanted to, you could. <laughs> you could get up there and put a color bomb in the air. There's many things you could do. Can you get Jason shredded? Easily. Easily? I don't know about easy. Yes, easily. You think you could? If you could have him at your beck and call, and he had to do everything you told him to do, 24-7, supervision, diet, routine. Sleep. You got, him for, you got him for six months. I'd have to get physical with him, and there's nothing wrong with it. In this day and age, you can't touch anybody. Yeah, because he's too You high can't high. touch anybody. You can't touch. Well, guess what? You can. It's been done in the past. I don't think that would motivate him in the manner you want. I think he would make him curl up into a fetal position. Well, he cry. gets in a curl position. You bring his, grab his ass up and say, man up, and smack him again. The just only, like used the to only do. way that could work is if it was being filmed for that six months and made into a show. Cause, cause Anything he, could be he done. Knew, yeah. If he knew that he was going to get something at the end of it or if it was going to be documented, True. he'd fucking do that. Adam, PJ, wherever, never went across the line. People, Everyone in this day and age, security guards can't touch you, police, you can't touch me, teachers, you can't touch me. 
parents, you can't touch me. The exact thing they everybody used to needs. Paddle kids in school. Right. That's well, when kids had respect. Well, now everything is filmed. Everybody has a cell phone. Well, they should film it and say, "Look, this kid's getting his ass kicked. This is what happens. We don't follow the rules." How's that? I think I told the story on the podcast a few summers ago when I was back home in New York. I was in Prospect Park in Brooklyn. And Actually, Christina, in one of her interviews, she likes to walk around Prospect oh, Park. Yeah, yeah it's, during the summer, it's beautiful. And um, two police officers were arresting a black guy. I don't know what he did. I saw them chase him down, tackle him, and they cuffed him. And within, I'd say, 60 seconds, there were about 30 or 40 people surrounding the arresting police officers with the perpetrator, all with their phones out and their cameras filming. Mm -hmm. Touch him. Go ahead. Touch him. Hit him. Go ahead. We're filming all of it. They were... All they wanted to do was get something on film, on camera, that they could use against the police. And, you know, it's very hard to do your fucking job when you have people doing that, antagonizing you. You know, yeah, they to, call to it a something. police state. But to be honest, you comply with them. We wouldn't need so many police if people would simply comply and go on about their business. You know, it would be when people are stirring up trouble... You're going to get hammered 10 times. They're going to remember your face. They're going to key in on you. They're going to find out who's dealing you drugs. Right. They're going to follow you around in unmarked cars, and they're going to get you. <clears throat> so use your first psychology. Take your punishment like a man. That's why you the quality of men suck and the quality of women. Back 50, 100 years ago, your wife was out of line. It was, it was nothing wrong for her husband to smack her upside the head. Uh. I see nothing wrong with it. Because <laughs> oh, you're boy. brainwashed, Brad. Gloria already Your brain I don't hit women. The hell you don't. Who said? <laughs> Who said? I said. You're, Brad, that's a very ridiculous statement. You don't because society says not to now. You shouldn't have to. But if they get out of line, you hit them. And that keeps a family together. That keeps her doing her job. Keeps you doing what you're supposed to do. Guess what? Yeah, there would be so much just, divorce. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know what? You that, make me that, think of when he when he says this is Raging Bull. Remember the movie? Yeah. Where Robert De Niro that, 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 shit. that won't make her respect you. It'll make her be scared shitless of you. Right. But if she stays with you, and ask Quip, and never, I seen a Haitian kid, her mother beat him with his shoe so bad. To this day, he still respects her. To this day, he takes care of her. The, the mother that allows, that never hits her kid, allows her to go out and do drugs, goes and buys him whatever he wants. A mother hitting a kid, a, a mother hitting or slapping a kid for doing something wrong is different than, than a, a husband, husband hitting slapping his, wife. Than slapping the shit out of his wife. Two no. totally different yeah, things. Yeah, it's not acceptable. Yes, it is. No, not, no, it's not. Maybe, maybe in your household. I never saw my father hit my mother, but he should have. They might have been. <laughs> they might have still been together today. Oh, okay. And be miserable. Give me some anecdotal information why your opinion is correct. I'm, I'm not hearing anything. What do you mean anecdotal? Give me some instances or things why, and that today is definitely off limits. Why is that superior to versus when marriages stay together? Women respected their husband. Respect does come from fear. Uh, no, no, no. What do you yeah. tell me? How you're speaking from experience? I don't hit women. Are you need to hit women? Are you speaking from experience? Yeah, exactly. too? No, but you... I'm talking about proven methods done in the past where families were intact. Of making somebody be scared shitless of you, not to, respecting you. To be scared you. to leave you. You know, God forbid I don't have my husband's whiskey ready when he gets home, he's gonna crack me across the face. She's afraid. Yeah, that's not love or respect. Well, that's right. a wife should do that for a husband out of love. But well, maybe she maybe it. she should, but if she doesn't, she doesn't. She shouldn't have her teeth knocked exactly. out by her that's husband. Exactly, it's fucking ridiculous, Leonard. You said knocked out. Whatever. Slap, I didn't that, say that, it. That, there's well, there, it, that's it, whatever. Anything to reduce the divorce rate and keep families intact. You want to reduce the divorce it. rate? Don't get fucking married. That'll reduce the divorce rate. But that's going to reduce the society, and what you're going to have is a society of third worlders who are having kids like there's no tomorrow, and are going to have kids like that forever. Well, third world cut society. That huge benefit That's what you're going to have. Cut out that huge tax break for, of having a kid, and I guarantee you they'll have a lot fucking less. It's not about money. Yeah, it's no about shit. Bullshit, family. it's not about money. It should be you about the family. You know how happy they are right now when you got six fucking kids yep. and you're getting over 10 grand back in taxes because yep. you don't get off your ass and work? Bullshit, Leonard. If they didn't get that check every month or every year, whatever the fuck they get, the benefits. Brad, they're please. still not having enough babies. I'm the number one offender. Andrew Clore is the number There's two offender. There's plenty of people on this planet. We don't need any more fucking people on this planet. That's a communist uh, Bullshit, argument. Bullshit, man. There's plenty of fucking people. You That's don't a commie need, argument. That's yeah, horseshit. Ah, Under the realm shit. of communism, we Islam. We fucking yeah. people. 
You not having a kid, Kawhi not you're having a have kid, a... Jason not having a kid, it's not going to affect Jason's shit. Jason's going to have a kid. I talked to him the other day. Yeah. Oh, God. I said he'd be a great father. Oh, really? He would. You, Look at the way. you tell him something you so You see the way Jason ridiculous. takes care of those dogs and cats? What do you think he's going to do with his own son? What He'll cats? be a great father. He has a cat? He doesn't take care of shit. If he has a kid, that fucking kid will probably sit in a shit diaper for three straight days. I disagree. Okay. Should you tell the story? Remember when he called me the other day? crying about the dog oh yeah trying to get sympathy that the dog was dying or something he tried that uh, shit with me i said jason put the fucking thing out of its misery bro that's mean bro it's my dog i said i don't give a shit that's a why you make a good father no, he, knew, but he he called me up the other day because I, I mean his dogs are really sweet he's got the nicest dogs godiva and the dog has yeah, some they're yappy little shits nah, they're, I, you know me I, I love animals brad i would like some information as to why you say <laughs> you don't hit fin- women because you're hearing this you're hearing this propaganda. Pussies hit women. He, he's Bullshit. On a, he's on a roll. Real Canada men too. hit women. Real men protect their family. Real fuck. men fight and die for their You're family. A fucking wimp. Real you men do a whatever woman. it takes a to man take care of their a family. Woman is a fucking pussy, and you're a fucking pussy if you hit women. Okay. That's a childish well, argument. It's not childish. You you're never, a you fucking never hit pussy. A woman, have you? I had a crack whore that wouldn't leave it, let it out of my car when I well, told that, her. That's a different story. Someone's in your car. It's an extension of your home. They're not getting out. I can see why you would. Well, I hit, I hit the, the Haitian gonna... girls with with a with a brush on her ass. I'm, I'm, so I'm not. You, you, no, you're I'm, not going to sway me to, to I'm, agree I'm, with you on this. Well, you need to be oh, educated. It's ridiculous. Not swayed. You need to. I'm bringing you facts, and you're bringing me rubbish. Okay. I'm talking about in a domestic violence situation. Not a, this, not this, a, court, not a crackhead sitting in I don't want to hear car. child abuse or domestic violence. I don't want to hear that anymore. That's what the cookie cutters, that's their guise to destroy a family. Domestic violence. Child abuse. I've seen situations like that, and those families are intact. I've seen the so-called child abuse that would have made the news. I was shocked at first they may be intact, when I saw the end results. They may be intact, but are they happy? Yes. Okay. They love each other. They're, they take care of each other. A codependency. Exactly. But go ahead. Finish what you were saying. He, he can't leave her because he needs someone's ass to kick, and she can't leave him, leave him because she's afraid if she does, he'll kill her. Whatever right. keeps them together. Stupid. <laughs> Complete they never should have been together in the first place. You know what's miserable? Fucking you know what I hear and what I see? What? People that don't talk to their family now. They're miserable. People that are old and have no one to talk to. They wish they were closer to their family. They're miserable. Like your father? Probably because he's not close to their family. He never hit my mother. Maybe he should have. But what would you have done if you saw him do it? Nothing because he kicked my ass a second later. Couldn't beat him. I hit him one time. He slapped at me. Uh, he got some deep fucking issues away. No, I think you're just a little naive. That's fine. That's because you're not bringing fine. me any facts. Call me naive. If I, you're I bringing me brainwashed. Hit, I don't believe in hitting women. Go ahead, call oh. me naive. I'll take. You. I don't lick ass. <laughs> I don't believe in hitting <laughs> oh, women. God. Say what you want, Leonard. You're just, it's too much generalizations there. From... <laughs> Did you ever women respect Actually, you? I would hit a tranny though, because as, as a man. You hit one of them trannies, that'll be the last thing you ever hit, trust me. <laughs> don't, don't underestimate those trannies, they'll rip your face oh, off. Brett, common sense. You can't let kids, children and women are not created to be logical thinkers and decision makers <laughs> for the best <laughs> long-term interest of their self or their families. That's a fact. <laughs> they bleed once a month twice a month they put sponges up in themselves so they can continue fornicating the they use sponges you mean a tampon no it's called a sponge when they're having their period they put a sponge up there so they can continue to fornicate when the red river's flowing take the dirt trail why don't your tongue take a dirt trail for once <laughs> <laughs> if you would have simply added so a sponge, wait a minute, if they stuck a sponge up there, how are you supposed to fuck them with a sponge up there? You can fuck them and then get away. That's how dirty and filthy. Do you know how dirty and filthy, sleazy and nasty women are? They pop pills and eat junk food like it's nothing. That's you know, they spread their legs. Like, women are filthy <laughs> and nasty and they need correction just like a child. <laughs> I don't care how old they are. Some of those 60 year old women needs a nice smack upside the head. Oh my god! You are too fucking. You ever much. watch All in the Family with? Thanks to Tempe, Arizona. Whoever sent him. You ever see Edith Bunker? Thank you. <laughs> she made sure Archie's 
when he came in from work, had his meals, he got his chair. And if she screwed up, he told her. He straightened her out. He told her or he hit her? He probably hit her behind the scenes. It's a TV show, you fucking but dope. Now, experts are saying that was so ahead of its time. They tried to make Archie at the time, Norman Lear was a liberal, as, a, as the average family. They tried to poke fun of it because most guys were like Archie. And it turns out he's one of the most idolized people now, thanks to the internet, how he acted. And his wife was happy. She was devoted to him. And the sad truth is, those marriages were together. And, and say, for instance, the wife got out of hand, the husband corrected her, whether it was verb or a little swat or whatever. Maybe how about a swift smack on the ass? Your w wife's being a big over and smack her on the ass. That's what I'm, maybe that'll straighten out. Is you smack a kid on the ass. I'm not talking about knocking somebody's teeth out or brutalizing them. Give them a smack on the ass. Okay, now we're down to smacking the ass. Well, great. We're making, we're making like progress. That. Yeah. <laughs> then they'll want to fuck. <laughs> Just like the Led Zeppelin song. I just send the leather daddy back to school in. <laughs> uh, then you could give her every inch of your tongue up the old dirt road. Do 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 do. <laughs> uh, you educate me. I, I feel it's my obligation to educate you. Well, thank you. I've learned a lot for you, Thanks. from you. Freudian slip. I appreciate it. Man. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Next woman I'm with, I'll slap her around. Right. And then, you can, <laughs> yeah. then you can lick her around and watch how devoted to you she is. The great Adolf Hitler said, if a country is like a woman, they're easily to control and take over. <laughs> and he preferred simple, slutty women in his life. All his girlfriends, Eva Braun, a few other ones. Childish. Don't, don't most people. men prefer simple, slutty women? I mean, and it's most, not exactly... Most uh, smart men. That, that's a generalization. <laughs> most <laughs> smart men. Just because Hitler liked it, I mean... Most smart men. <laughs> if a country's like a woman, it's easy to overcome. Just like France. Just like a weak-willed woman they surrendered. They let them march right in. Take over. <laughs> I haven't seen you this animated in a while. You know, I haven't taken fan about hydrochloride. Thank you, man. I haven't taken that for five months. Just a teaspoon will do it. Jesus Christ. Not Nootropics <laughs> Depot. I forgot. Leonard, the P.O. Get yourself some fan about hydrochloride. <laughs> take a teaspoon about the last time before you get up to piss. As soon as you wake up, you'll be nice and buzzed, horny. And your thoughts are like... And it took away my sluggishness. I couldn't think. I couldn't move. You need to put your own twist on that quote. If a country is as easy to overcome as Dale is at the Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> the incredible shrinking. Why? He's acting like a woman. Who, Dale? Instead of being a man and going out and doing himself, he's getting this coach, this coach. How many coaches did Dorian Yates get? The legend. Leonard just got himself a new label tonight after this one. Since you're, you're a homo pedo wife now you're a wife beater right well we can throw the, every fucking yeah. name in the they book can throw all, there you go, guys. Yeah. all those Have cookie cutter terms at me that's just common sense the ultimate male <laughs> i'd rather be called any of those names than called a cookie cutter communist what was it, conformist cunt what was that ray rice is that the guy who got knocked that bitch out in the elevator yeah. and it was on camera and she's still with him and she regrets that he's, being on is camera she, is she really? i think she i think he's right she is still with him, right? Of course. And she regrets every second of it. Every second of being with him or every second of Every what? second of that whole incident being recorded and stuff. She wished it never happened. Look yeah, it up, Maniacs. More money. Ray Rice video. He knocks her out cold. And it was an elevator in a casino, right? She probably, yeah. did, she probably did the right thing. Oh, She's running her mouth. And if that can save a marriage, that can save a family. See, people need to stand up and talk about these oppressive rules of society today who are basically made by those same women that do not have any business making these policies. These feminists, you have no business doing it. You're country destroyers. Every time the women took over the country, it was wrecked havoc. You dehumanize the man, they, they give up. You know what a beaten down man is? A man that once all he gets up to do is drink all day. He masculine. He can't, yeah, he can't face reality. He doesn't want to work because a woman has beat him down so much. Or I hear about the kid that was, that was going to shoot some people. I think it was in Colorado. 27 years old because women didn't want to sleep with him or turned him down. Well, guess what? Anybody like that do, do that, you got to look at yourself first. Number two, go get a fucking escort. Make your own woman. Go get a fucking tranny. Whatever. Fuck. You go by your rules. 
You need some cunt controlling with your stinky, soggy cunt. <laughs> Bacteria infested, stinking, bleeding cunt bag. Jesus, You're going to yeah. have your life over that? Some men put that on the highest pedestal a possible. A rotten, saggy, bleeding. And it will dictate their lives. Well, women have, the, women have all the power. That power, that pussy. Who gives it to them? Guess what? Women could rule the fucking planet if they stopped giving up pussy. Men would lose their fucking mind if women just, we're not fucking you until we get our way. You're not getting it. Why do you think there's sex robots being developed? Why are there, why is trannies the biggest kept secret on earth? It's not a matter of fact, Johnny Love, (laughs) Johnny Love came up to me and said, man, you need to go to Thailand. I said, why? He goes, look up Pattaya City. He says, they got the lady boys there. He goes, I heard you're in it. I said, yeah. He, he asked, seriously asked me, he says, do you prefer the femme ones or the butch ones? I said, what do you mean the butch ones? He goes, some, you can't. beard and a wig? <laughs> I said, some. <laughs> fuck? And then little Mikey said, yeah, they're called boys. And he goes, no, man. He says, he goes, come over with me. He goes, when you get that settlement, I don't know what he's talking about, but he's like, come over to Thailand with me. It's safe. He goes, I go there three times a year, man. No shit. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like a creepy fuck that would do But that. he's like. <laughs> He goes, you ought to see them, how them cute things. He goes, oh, my God. He goes, there's nothing like it here. He goes, miles of them, miles of them. Man, they give the best fucking head and lick your ass. Dude, if you have to fly around halfway around the planet to get a good blowjob, you yeah, know, you're please. not doing life That's right. a shame. There's something yeah, wrong with really, this. It really is. There's let something wrong on, with this country. Let me sit country. on a plane for 15 hours so I can get a good blowjob. Fuck that's, that's something, there's something wrong with this country, if that's true. You know, all, all, no, no, there's something wrong with him. Yeah, it's because oh, I mean, give me a break. Well, he's got it, the money. It's not that. Hard. It's not that hard. If you got the money, you don't right. need to leave the fucking city. But he's t- basically <laughs> you don't saying, need to leave your neighborhood. He's saying it's so outrageously good that it's worth it. So that's very intriguing. You know, I, 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 he's not the first person that told us that. There's nothing wrong with taking a, a sex tourism trip, whether it's to Costa Rica or Amsterdam or something like that. But to do that shit, you know, like clockwork three or four times a year, I and mean, it's the best blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> you know, experience it once and move on with your life. Which should be happening here. You should be having just that just in Florida. But all the feminists. The prostitution they don't like should that. definitely be legal. Yeah, they oh, want to yeah. close, close down the strip clubs. They're behind it. The feminists. Put the John's names on the paper. I don't give a fuck. I'd be proud to have my name in the paper. At least I got some fucking common sense. I'm a free thinker. Everybody's so embarrassed by it. Who gives a fuck? I don't know, man. Every, every time I've ever been to a strip club, the girls seem like they're having a great fucking... Yeah, they talk about... Yeah. They're being objectified. They're making, I don't think so. They're making a ton of money. They're walking out of that building like, I got that old man for fucking... Yeah. Five, six hundred. Because the fat feminist ugly can't do it. Like you said, what were you right. saying about... Strippers. I got more respect for them than women doing a man's job. No, remember when you were talking to the woman? Oh, talking about, yeah, they're all talking about they're paying for school, they want to be a nurse. I said, why the hell would you want to stick your hand up some old lady's ass and pull her shit out when you could do this here, be a dominatrix, invest your money, invest in the stock market, eventually start your own business, or invest so much in the stock market, you're set for life. I have more respect for you as a stripper. So don't give me this. You're being told that that's your second class woman. Bullshit. You got gifts. You turn men on. I mean, other than cooking for men or having babies, what the hell is greater than that? Too much brainwashing. Strippers play a vital role in society. Yeah. <laughs> and don't let those, again, the, the preachers and stuff that like to pre- preach against it, they're the worst offenders. Jimmy Swaggart. The girl said he used to pay her to shit on him in some Flint Lindsay <laughs> Hotel. <laughs> Mr. Swaggart. And all the Catholic priests, come on. They don't want that there so they can control people. Tithe to them, but, oh, we need to get these out of the community. Oh, my God, man. Are these Snapchat calls yes. get you coming it's, in? It's constant. They know we're doing a podcast. Call after call after call after call. It's a shit. All right, Enhanced Barbecue for Lenny. Thoughts on New York legalizing abortion up till the moment of birth? They did that? Late-term abortions? Up until the moment of birth? That's full term. That can't be right. That, that can't be right. Personally, I, I feel it's a case of it shouldn't have to go that far. You know, there's, I don't care what anybody says. There's repercussions from that. And how about this? The person that signs up for that law or is behind it? How about when you get old and decrepit, we decide when we, you can, we can end your life? How's that? So we don't have to waste money on you being a nursing home. I agree with that. You want that role? I think everybody should have that right to decide. Yeah. 
If I'm old and I'm in a nursing home shitting my pants and I can't even make my own fucking off me. Well, if we let the maniacs come behind, I think they'll off you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch what you say. Yeah, fucking whatever. They'll bury you in leather. <laughs> But Brad, if you're shitting your pants, you could have some luscious nurse that we used to work in a strip club. What fantasy land do you fuck Clean it off of you. Well, I don't want it. Dude, that's humiliating. It's not. Oh, sure. Okay. Well, not for you. That's humiliating fine. is being a cookie cutter communist conformist. That's humiliating. Okay. Everyone in the questions asking about that guy with the yellow shirt. We already covered it. Somebody doing the 10-year challenge. Well, guess what? The guy in the yellow shirt, I ever heard he says he works on Lake Ida. In an office at Lake Ida and military. <laughs> well, he's, he, I heard him say that. So we could come in with the cameras while he's at work. No and I'll say, I'm coming to see you later, no pal. Over there. You yellow shirt freak. Big Lenny, Bart, and Princess. Any advice for recovery and sleep while working night shift? I'm an ICU registered nurse who works 1845 to 0715, four to five days a week, and want to get some quality sleep and rest. Any advice? That's Nurse True 32. Uh, black out your windows, man, when you go home. You, you got to wear dark, blinders and earplugs, do it. Darkness. Eat a meal before bed. Have some carbs in it because once you get the carbs and your blood sugar goes down, a blood sugar lower will knock you out. It'll make you sleepy. And don't try to go to sleep as soon as you get home from work because that's not going to happen. Don't have anything with caffeine stimulants or anything. And sort of drift, don't worry about it, sleeping. It'll come naturally. Well, you got to kind of flip-flop the days, yeah. you know? If, you, if you're working 6 at night till 7 in the morning, pretend like you're working 6 in the morning to 7 at night, how would you sleep? Right. I mean, it's just... Turn off all the uh, music and all the crap. Graham 9393 for Lenny. Would you let Serena Williams baby you? Hell yeah. I think I'd let her baby <laughs> I'd let her toiletize me, too. Question... A she can ride me like a horse to the tennis, the Wimbledon tennis match. A popper five six six five. Question for Lenny: You always ran about cookie cutters. You went to Golden Corral to eat, and you shop at Walmart. Isn't that prime example? Of <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Not when you're walking around Walmart with an I love anal shirt on. That's right. Yeah. And wearing a bedroom bully shirt and gold. And you're hitting on girls, and they get scared. Let's see you do something comparable. When are you guys coming to New York City? Uh, end of May for me, Brad. I might join you. May or may not be joining me. Do you want to go, Leonard? Damn right. I don't think I'll have a you problem. Wanna, I'm, I'm already booked, so if you want in, just let Just as long as we can hit, get the tan, tan, tens from New York, I heard it pretty good. We should try to make it happen. I heard there's like some good sex clubs up there. You got to go to the West Side Highway. Nice. May. Okay. We'll have to look on the calendar. You can, get to, you can get a couple days, right? It would just be a long weekend. Of course. Like Thursday to Sunday. Of course. Andrew? What? Like a Thursday to Sunday? Thursday to Monday. Love to go. Hmm. I might go to fucking Denver for 420. What? <laughs> I didn't know that would wake you up. <laughs> what? April 20th. Please, please explain this to me. Denver coming. You know, April 20th is Adolf Hitler's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to go do out there? There's a some kind of concert at Red, Red Rock. Who? Never heard of her. It's an amphitheater, Red Rock Theater. And what's going on there? A bunch of different bands and shit playing. 420, everybody. You know. the, the cookie cutters. Smokes and enjoys, the cookie cutters. enjoys a nice show. Enjoy, you know, enjoy <laughs> it. Show everywhere. It's like when you don't go to Thailand and get your dog's dick sucked. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> if I brought you, you would love it. I'm sure I would, but that's pretty much cookie okay. cutter. Who gives a fuck? So we, I do some cookie cutter shit. Who cares? You do a little more than you should. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> you like dwelling in the cookie cutter piss. <laughs> oh man, what do we? Oh, talk? it's four twenty. What do we say? What did we say before, Leonard? What I have more respect. What did I the... tell you before? I'm just a cookie cutter. Just because you're alive doesn't mean you're living. Well, if that's living, I want to be dead. Good. Live as a cookie cutter. I'll be dead. It better be there to be. His dead. idea of fun is taking fenna button. It... G E and walking around Walmart hitting on fucking ghetto trash. Congratulations. I'd I, rather go to, I'd rather go to Denver for four twenty than walk around. I'd rather do that. I know you would. So I'd rather go on Dixie each Highway. Own. To each his own. Have a yeah, blast. but you're bailing amongst these cookie cutters. I don't give a fuck. You just I'm Mr. Four Twenty himself. <laughs> the four twenty leather daddy. Here, I don't get it. Here come the memes. I was invited. So whether I go or not, that's up By there. whom? A friend. What friend? Don't worry about it, you fucking know. This is getting what very are you, my interesting. My fucking dad? Well, I'm just, we need to know. 
What friend? I love when he asks you yeah, a he question. Should, he should he holds the mic. What <laughs> friend invited you there? Like he's Howard Cosell you. interviewing somebody. He holds. Tell me mic. after the thing. Who? After the podcast, I'll tell you. Say it on the podcast. No. I know who it is. I know who it is. Somebody that I know around here. Has he met him? Yeah. <laughs> well, some maniacs get on his DM or whatever. Tell me your true thoughts on going to Denver for a 420. I don't need any more DMs. I got enough, please. That's a dangerous don't place to go. Okay. You know why? Because some Muslim extremist group are probably going to say, we're going to get them fuckers, those fucking dopers. We're going to blow that place up. You ever think about that? No. All you stone, what are you stone bunch of stoners going to do when those throat cutters start opening fire? God knows what. You ever think of that? If they're high enough, they won't notice. <sighs> they won't give a shit exactly. <laughs> it's a whole idea. I have to go to the bathroom. That's 420 stuff makes is inducing me to take a dump. Yeah. Oh, I got some good questions, too. Hold on. Ask Lenny what he thinks <laughs> about three times a week full body training, old school reg Park and Bill Pearl routines. Reg Park and Bill Pearl would kick ninety percent of these bodybuilders' ass on their throat. How does your mic get especially Bill Pearl? Your mic is so like Jason twisting the fucking. How does this get so tangled up over the course of the podcast? Because that's an intense podcast right there. It's like Jason's earbuds. Yeah. Four twenty at Denver. Oh my god! I, oh I my wish god. I should have never said anything. I knew it. Four twenty at Denver. <laughs> <laughs> If I invite you to go, would you go? But yeah, to, to see what <laughs> I want to see. There this, you go, you fucking I jerk. Bailey basically want to right, see. Guess what? And laugh at Maybe these that, brainwashed. I'll get you that for four twenty. If I say I'm bringing you there for your birthday, would you go? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Now go take your shit. You Hitler's fucking, gonna be rolling in his grave. Shit. What you're doing on his birthday? He's Whoa. rolling in the grave. Lenny. I don't know. I can't. I can't. I can't make it. You can't make it to the clubhouse? That's coming up. Especially after that 420. That just really irritates me. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I can't believe it. I, I like to think that Brad had a little more common sense. But when I hear 420, they all flop. Whoa! I wish the weed! Mic, I wish the mic cord was long enough to reach to the bathroom. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Get a longer one. Here we go. Excuse me. You're, you're excused. <laughs> 420 you're again. excused God. you're going to <laughs> yeah I, I can't wait to just look and see how sick people and i'm gonna go up to them. what are you here for what's going on it's 420 in denver yeah. they'll put a gas mask on them and give them a shotgun <laughs> <laughs> yeah like in platoon <laughs> oh i love it <laughs> 420 in Denver. Oh my god. Here we go. You gotta be putting me on. Ever since I you could have already been to the clubhouse, by Ever the way. Ever since I started hearing 420. Fuck. 420. It's 420. I'm gonna go dope up. What if you're on the job <laughs> delivering parcels? No, I don't do that every day. What about those circulars? You're getting 420 would up when you're delivering the circulars? <laughs> I'm sure the your customers would like to hear that. On our taxpayer dime. I smell pot all day, man. Well, you must love it. <laughs> so do I. I've been mean, smelling it every time I ride my bike in Lake Worth Road. That's all you smell. Oh, yeah. Where are those cops out there cracking some skulls for that? Throwing some charges on Shut off. up, you hypocrite, fat fuck. Go take your <laughs> shit, you fucking moron. Four twenty. Just aim straight down. You actually said that. April 20th, excuse me. Yeah, he is. All right. You'll be 48, you old fuck. What a fucking jerk. You know what's so funny? What a fucking hypocrite. It's so funny that he he, he loves anything I say. He loves I to break my balls yeah, you gotta excessively. Know that by now. Oh, I know. That's why I said it. I don't give a fuck. I knew he'd freak out. And then when I said, would you go? 420. Would you go? Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, great. the best part. Uh, oh. oh, God, I hear it. Mm. It sounds like a boat horn. <laughs> it sounds like a, the blowhole of a whale. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to like spray it off the side of the toilet bowl with a hard piss stream. You know when you do that? Uh, you got to get the toilet brush, man. Yeah. Can we get an update on some of the OG misfits like Big Richard and I heard Saul passed. Can you guys confirm Saul is alive? His wife just passed. Richard is still Richard. Richard. Here's a plan of fitness every Mark day. Mark is fine. Sean, we see you at the gym a few days a week. I saw Sean yesterday. 
Will we see around from time to time in Delray on his bike? Emma's doing her thing. Koth Andrew we're in touch with. We go out with him to watch UFC events. And Mike, you know, Mike with cerebral palsy, I haven't spoken to him in a long time. Right. He, every now and then I'll get an email from him promoting one of his upcoming books, but that's it. It's just like a mass email. I still have his phone. Elizabeth just disappeared. Yeah. Jennifer, I don't see or hear from her anymore. Her she goes to Planet Fitness, though. Yeah. Paul's, you guys don't. Yeah, I just. Is that a false alarm? Old story. A lot of gas build up, a lot of urine, but nothing comes. Just the way I like it. Do you ever give yourself an enema? Or the girls do on Saturdays, right? <laughs> Again, as we were speaking to earlier about the... You should at least once a day, though, don't you? Three times. Going to Thailand for a blowjob. Can't you smoke a joint <laughs> here? No, you're right. You're right. You're 100% right. I, wanna, I do want to go to Denver, though. Why? Because I'd like well, to see it. That's probably beautiful. You'd like to anime. see it. Yeah, I'd like to Google see it. Google Earth. I, I want to... It's... <laughs> Dude, pictures do places no justice until you're actually there. Did you did you ever think Vegas would be the way it is just by seeing pictures of it than when you went there? No, actually, I was more disappointed to see it in person. I was thinking about someone on a grander scale. Wasn't that impressive? Well, because we didn't spend enough time on the Strip. We went to Fremont right. Street and the uh, Expo and the and gym the and that Dam. was it. And the Hoover Dam. You didn't go to the Hoover Dam. Damn right I did. You stayed in a hotel room and fucking rested your pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down. Let's go to the Hoover Dam and the 420 in Denver. Here's Lenny New, Lenny New research suggests urinal pucks stimulate GH release. Must be used. Take pre-workout and report back a week now. Urinal what? New research suggests urinal pucks stimulate GH release. You know what a urinal? You ever take a piss in a urinal and, and it has that it? little smelly thing in it's there? Like a blue, it looks like a hockey puck. It's used to, I guess, deodorize the, the and sanitize the bottom of the urinal. To swallow that? What? He's joking, you fucking moron. <laughs> hey, people inject semen in their know. back. They can swallow, eat hockey. Next time urinal we're in the bathroom, we're going to see him eating those fucking urinal pucks. GH release. <laughs> Are you competing again soon? Ruby, right? Absolutely. Just the Ruby, though. What else is there? What's Andrew and Lou competing in? I mean, there's shows all year, isn't it? Yeah. But... Does Lenny shave with a Gillette cookie cutter right Yeah. <laughs> well, they're probably not longer if anybody has some sense they boycott this filthy and idiotic publicity machine over there fucking joke that is and that's a shame I don't know if the Patriots are still connected I don't think they are I think Robert Kraft sold the Gillette job. Stadium yeah they had to change the name toxic masculinity Lenny don't you know that's ruining the country Absolutely. toxic masculinity right uh, your speech earlier is really going to set them off no well too bad yeah exactly they're yeah. the feminists and the, and the homos <laughs> and the wimp, the beta males, as, you, as people call them, is, that's what's ruining the country. And for Gillette and for such a fine football organization that continues to defy the odds, that's America's team right there. I'll say it now. I'll say it again. That's a team I admire. That's a team that's going to win. They're going to find a way to win. And they're the best of the best. They get to the big show no matter what. Well, you know, it's just like, I mean, I don't like the team, obviously, because it's a rival of the Dolphins, but I do appreciate watching history being made. I mean, you, there's, you're not going to, probably in our lifetime, we're not going to see another team that does this. From 2002 to 2019, they've been, what, how, how many, nine think, fucking Super Bowls? I think this is going to be their ninth. Yeah. I mean, come on, Brady, nine? Like, appreciate it while it's happening. See, that it's the same thing when Jordan was dominating the league. Everybody was like, oh, fuck him. He's a ball hog. I hate fucking Jordan. And now everybody's like, oh, I saw Jordan play. I went and saw it. Yeah. <laughs> now you appreciate him because you see. Yeah. I'm not too impressed with him. I no, I know. I know. Because you don't like basketball. <laughs> I'm just comparing the eras. It's. You're watching it's just a game. It. It's just a little school boy Like everybody game. hated Tiger Woods when he was dominating off. Yeah, Tiger. That's Michael even Jordan. worse. I don't know what to call that shit. Michael Jordan played during an era when you can actually be physical in the NBA. Right. You know, what What? What they now call a flagrant foul in the NBA is, is just would have been a, a Why a is the NFL foul. and the NBA getting less physical? Pussification. And everybody's saying they have a, a, board. a well, brain with, injury. Well, with the NFL, they're protecting themselves from lawsuits from players yeah. and concussions right. suicide. There's, those guys in the 50s didn't have face masks. They had leather helmets. They went out there and played. But look, at, look at the NBA now. They're, you know, they're scoring 130 points a game. You I can't, wouldn't know. You can't I, touch I, wouldn't, I wouldn't waste a millisecond even looking at that shit at all. And I, I was a big NBA fan in the 80s with the Philadelphia 76ers, watching them play the Boston Celtics. If you're from Pittsburgh, you like the Sixers. You like Dr. J, who I met, Moses Malone, and the rest. Yeah. Mo Cheeks. Yeah. Who'd you meet the other night, or last night? About that? Yeah, Bill Wilmore, NBC national champion. He walked right into Porthole, and 
Mike T turns around and says, hey, look at this clown. He says, oh, you do go to strip club? He's like, what about you? Then Mike T says, because, yeah, you come in here and you act like you're all shy. I know your game. I said, Mike, that's Bill Womar. He says, who the hell is that? He goes, I've been seeing this clown come into strip clubs. And Bill says, yeah, you, you would bust on my balls every time. No I shit. said, this guy was an IFB pro butter. He goes, what? He goes, small as he is. Mike's just ripping into him. It's so funny. He's fucking big. He's a freak. Yeah. But that's how modest he was. And he grew up in the same area I did. Went to Plum, wrestled, knew Kurt Angle. You know, because Kurt Angle played against us in football. And he wrestled a guy I went to school with. And the guy came back after the meet. Black eyes, cuts, cuts and scratches all over his face. The poor hole pub. Great place, but... I've been there once. It's a good spot. I, mean, I could have done a live there if I wasn't disqualified for a week or two. I was posing. I, was, I got up on <laughs> I got up on the uh, stripper pole and was posing, but nobody said anything. I challenged Wilmore to pose down. Get the fuck out of here. Call Mike T. He'll tell you. You got on the stripper pole? Got up on the stage and posed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Took the shirt off. Was hitting the most musculars. What is I the matter said, get with up you? on here, Wilmore. What is the matter with you and Mike Tits? You don't know how to work your phone to just take a fucking video? How hard is that? Mike Tits is too busy drinking and getting his dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> and insulting right, no, insulting enough. that clown, <laughs> Bill Wilmore. before filming. Exactly. Right, yeah. Bill says, this guy's been get busting my balls for years. I said, why didn't you ever tell him? He goes, I'm not that. I don't tell people that stuff. So I had one of the strippers take a picture of us. Yeah, somebody said <laughs> Leonard's face is very rapey. <laughs> Next time, Lenny. You looked a little demonic in that picture. <laughs> Next time, mens over debauchery, please. Well, if I only could have done it. You have the capability right. of filming on your phone. Right. Yeah. Before we leave tonight, we'll show you how to do it. Yeah. No so excuses. You can hit, turn your phone on, go to camera, go to video, click film. Who gives okay. a fuck? If it comes out good, we'll post it. If it doesn't, what and turn it, turn the camera sideways so you get the landscape mode. Yeah, right. So you know, like a I don't see Dale taking any pictures with any national champions now or ever. Oh God! I think he posted a picture with a deer head. <laughs> didn't, he, didn't he recently? Yeah, I'm sure. he did a live. He was with Cornelius the other night. I saw her. I was unimpressed. <laughs> what was Lenny's best powerlifting numbers from Marcus Bruvit? Five hundred one bench. 501. 820 deadlift. Hey, wait a minute. How do you get 501? 750 squats. 501? Those are my best all time numbers. Um, so, wait, hold on. What, what's four plates on each side? 405? Well, powerlifting, they have the shaved plates and there's different. They add the collars and stuff. It's not an exact. You don't get exact numbers from to the T. What are your thoughts so on So, you might as well said I had a. 500. What are you? Close to a 2,000 pound total on my best lifts. Lenny's thoughts. Nothing on, great. Lenny's thoughts on Elon Musk. I don't know. I've never heard of her. I saw her on the Bogan podcast. I don't know too much about him or his philosophy, but I do have I have heard the name. Here's weirdy kind of it. Disney Magic 24. If someone paid one of you 100000 to get Jason ripped and you had to live with him, would you do it? Of course. But I'd have to take it to a limit, maybe get physical with him. Smack on the ass, smack upside the head. I hear your mouth. You get in there and do it. I'm going to punish you, boy. Dale needs to pose to Vince McMahon's theme, No Chance in Hell. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Vince isn't looking good lately. Mike T said saw him the other night that Vince don't look too good. Saw him where? In person or on TV? Through through my through my windshield. Through through my windshield. How's the M one T? I have it bottled but got really bad sides, three days in, lethargic shutdown, so on. I use a pre workout. Any way to stack or supplement safer? If you don't got the guts to do it, you should be lifting weights. Okay. I went through some severe side effects. Don't need to go that far. But believe me, you're going to be hot. You're going to be sweaty. There's times, but you know what? You need that to grow. You need to stuff those, stuff that food down your throat. That's what everyone, everyone wants to do. There's a reason everyone wants to do men's physique. <clears throat> they use all the drugs, but they don't want to do the eating. They don't want to do the training. They don't want to train their legs. Everybody wants their own little, it's like the tr participation trophies. They created all that stuff so the, the average small person can get a trophy. Men's physique and classic physique killed the hardcore gyms. Well, it didn't really, I don't think so. The hardcore gyms killed. The hardcore gyms stopped going and then you branched on to classic physique. The gyms that say they don't want any grunts or groans. Right. They don't want you training heavy, they don't want you training failure. That's what killed us, not the other way around. Leonard, your thoughts on the controversial call of the Saints game and who's winning the Super Bowl? Well, we don't have full-time referees. And you know, there's, there's still situations you can't overturn it. What do you expect? You know, Roger Goodell has the power 
to make them replay that if he wanted to. The, the, the league can't do it. Replay, I was reading an article today. They, from that point on, they can say if, if there's, a, there's a whole rule. I was reading it today that Roger Goodell has the power if he chose to do so, he can make them replay. The ball start, starting from right that exact <sighs> point in the game. They call the, the pass interference, and then the Saints get the, um, the Saints get the ball. I don't. What boggles my fucking mind? I put it. I posted that. Yeah. Is why the fuck are referees so old? How, how do you expect these old fucking guys to run around with these young athletes and be able to see everything? It's not fucking possible. Hire young guys that can keep up. Well, there should always be a loophole where the a replay the fuck can do you come have from upstairs. you have geriatrics out there reffing games, There should be man. certain cases where the replay can, can't go into effect. That too. You have the technology. Everyone should be able every, to call replay. Right. Every if it's single obvious. play. Would you, would you give a shit if your Steelers are in a championship? <laughs> They're not mine. Whatever. The Steelers and the Patriots are in a championship game. Do you care if that game goes for two and a half hours or three and a half? Do you give a fuck? Who cares if it lasts another hour because you got to sit there and replay calls to get it right? Yeah. Get it fucking right. There's no excuse for that shit. It's better ratings anyway. Yeah, you want money. yeah fuck it. Who cares? I don't understand how stupid this fucking... It's just a terrible fucking... Well, Roger it's just, Goodell, again, another company that's fucking reactive instead of proactive. He has no guts. It's a fucking joke. Like, how can you let the, 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 the game fall in the ref's hands? It's fucking ridiculous. Brady getting a fucking roughing the passer call when the guy's... Oh, that was awful. Like that. that was awful. What, are you kidding me? I'm just fucking just such nonsense. I hate seeing that shit. Especially the obvious stuff. So, there you go. I guess it's the two best teams in the fucking Super Bowl. What are you going to guess? Do? Let's hear some conviction there, Brad. <laughs> I just, you know... No, I don't know. It's frustrating when you have that much, when you have the technology to get it right, get it right. Well, the fans, again, until you continue buying their merchandise, go into those cookie cutter games, you don't see me going to those games. Yeah, so I'm not going right. to shell out money. Yeah, to see any I don't go to fucking program. dolphin games anymore. They stink. It's just like, oh, you, oh, you got to go to a game if you're, fuck you. Why do I have to go to a game if I'm well, not? Really gonna, I'm not going to go to a restaurant with um, subpar quality product. Like well, if I go to a restaurant and the food's not that great, I'm not rushing to go back there. Not only that, but 20 years ago or 25 years ago, you went to the game because it was a better experience. Now you got a 65 inch <laughs> HD TV with surround sound. Right. It's right. a pretty good experience watching it. And to tell you the right. truth, turn the volume down. I don't even need to hear the announcers. Exactly. I don't need yeah. Tony Romo's childish commentary. He adds nothing to it. No, he's good, actually. He's a jackass. No, he's not. He's a jackass. Oh, he insults my intelligence. Keep your mouth shut, you little wop. <laughs> <laughs> he's horrible. He is not horrible. Oh, he's, what does he, he say that's he's intelligent? He's good, man. He's sitting he, there. He's sitting there calling the plays before yeah, they happen. Yeah. Do you watch? I it? could do that. Okay, Leonard. He Pat, you that little Mahomes. Shit. That little freak with that hair. Is sitting there clapping his hands. And you know what Tony Romo said? He's getting them going. He's getting fired up. I was like, shut your mouth, you idiot. It's color commentary, Leonard. Color, yeah, I'll show you color commentary. Let me broadcast again. Can you again. tell me if I'm better hitting one muscle group really hard once a week or hitting a muscle twice a week? For some reason, I like hitting it hard once a week and getting a longer recovery. Well, also, I'm new to. It training. depends what your definition of hard is. Right. You got to be so torn down from heavy compound moves to moves that you couldn't fathom doing it twice a week. You should be so fucking sore in the dumps that you can't even. And that's how you should feel if you're natural. Now, if you're you're taking Anadrol and Dianabol and stuff, you're going to recuperate faster. But you got to tear this. What was the great Steve Shaw made the quote? What's the best thing you could do for your muscle mass? Pick whatever max set you're doing now for six. And, and make that your warm-up set to where that's no longer a max, that's a warm-up, and you're going 100 pounds heavier. You have tons more development and definition. And then let me tell you something. If I did color commentary, first we'd start out, I would say, what is that thing doing kneeling? Says, Goodell, someone needs to drag him off that field and show some respect. See, this isn't an activism. I don't see Tony Romo saying that. No, or he's getting fired up. Next time I see somebody make a tackle and jump up and down, I say, why doesn't he get his ass on? Why doesn't that coach say, you save your energy. Once that plays over, you get down to relax. You get your breathing rate down. And then the next time when that ball snapped, that's when you go all out. 
And once that whistle blows, then you get back into the. You don't jump up and down and smack somebody on the ass. So I'm a little sick of seeing that of shit. It is a waste That's of That's why I like the old 70s stuff. You got guys I agree with you on that one. hitting people like Dick like Buckus. They're, they're celebrating a first down. Yeah. Calm down. It's a, a first down. little sick of that shit. Oh, they Cheerleaders. All that. They all do that it's, now. And then you got Tony Romo saying, he's fired up. You little fuck. I'm going <laughs> to throw you the fuck off, of the, off the air. <clears throat> I like all oh, Howard Cosell days. Better than yeah, he was yeah, good. He's, Howard Cosell. Yeah. Those guys would get drunk in the booth, though. He did. They had to take him off Monday Night Football one night. It's on it, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Dead Ned Bread One comment. Why would I leave a question when none of you are going to answer it? <laughs> there you go. I read your question, your comment. What is it? Why would he leave a question if we're not going to answer it? What does he think? We're not going to answer? We were scared of your questions? Exactly. If they're stupid, I'm not going to read them or answer them. Actually, I've already done that, so we answer a lot of stupid there questions. There is no stupid questions. That's right. The only stupid question is the one that's not being asked. I don't, I don't Dale smarten up and say, Lenny, what would you have me doing for the Ruby in my prep? Why don't you smarten up? I tell him exactly what he needs to do to make himself more memorable physique-wise, not to shrink down. And look oh. like I look like a nothing. Here's a, here's a good one. A popper five six six five. Question for the misfits: Would you all consider going to Burning Man in Nevada this August, or is that too cookie cutter for Leonard? <laughs> Who and what is it? I have no idea. It's I, I don't know exactly, but I think it's like an all day or a week long music festival where everybody camps out and takes drugs. No, oh, it's ecstasy. I'll be there. Yeah. See. <laughs> You got to camp out with some ghetto trannies and such. I was like, hippie shit, I think. Oh, hippie stuff. <coughs> yeah. Hippies aren't very physically or sexually appealing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard, how often should a 17-year-old train? This is from Re The Real Raymond. You probably train as much as you want, huh? I would have no... I would come in there and go in and just blast compound movements. Go in there one day, bench yourself to a smithereens. Next day, squat. Next day, utilize the clean and press. Utilize the power cleans, the heavy barbell rows. I wouldn't do a curl at all. I'd make myself so big, strong, and explosive naturally and eat. And then you go from there. You build that foundation. You can recuperate well at that age because your hormones are at top, are flowing at top notch. Don't cancel those out by take, taking androgen on top of it. You can take a SARM or an anabolic like an anabolic and equipoise. That's always a good thing, but stay away from the heavy stuff to at least 21, 22 because you're going to set yourself back in the long run always go a little step higher it's so simple there should be 400 pound freaks walking around by now and the information they're getting what drugs was lenny on when he went live last week with that fat cuban gee <laughs> g's not a drug so it's in every got, cell of the he body you got a new it's batch a of some very good g this is what it's happens. a health tonic uh, da, da, da. lenny mary fuck kill maxine waters nancy pelosi hillary clinton go <laughs> kill myself <laughs> fuck fuck uh maxine waters and nancy pelosi marry, no, you have to marry fuck kill i'll marry maxine waters i'll fuck uh nancy pelosi and i'll hillary clinton kill me domination <laughs> style <laughs> by sitting on my face and farting two questions for the freak from misfit maniac one two three number one what procedure did you have done to fix your atria fibrillation? I had a, uh, what the hell are they call? They reset. Violation? Yeah, something like that. They reset the, or so they say. I mean, I'm taking their word for it. I probably should have it done. They reset the heart rate through an electrical shock, which means they go through my groin and they get up into the heart and they shock it. But I, claim, I, I, really, like I really needed to have two of them done within a six-month period. I don't think so. And I don't think anything good became of it. <clears throat> Two, my girlfriend and I have decided to enter the world of fecal fun. Can you offer any tips for first timers? Preparations, positions, diarrhea, or Just take wealth? it slow. Don't, don't prep for it. It's not a serious thing to do. It's an off-the-cuff nasty fetish. You don't prep <laughs> for that shit. It's only, it's only insane people do that. The people that... What you should do is, to start it off, lift up your toilet seat. Have the man sit down on that auto part first. Have the woman sit on his lap facing him and put arms around his neck where she can shit between his legs and the guy can shit in the toilet. So you're basically shitting together. That way you get accustomed to the smell of each other's fecal matter. You have to sort of take it slow. And then you can start doing it in the shower. You can rub it on each other nice and warm. All right, done. Yeah. That's enough of that. 
Why are you getting a hard on? I'm hard as a rock. Come over here and suck me. <laughs> Fat faggot. Go ahead, what were you going to read? <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Will I ever compete in a powerlifting meet for fun? No, I can't with this fucking hernia. What does he mean by fun? Yeah, to go in there and just fucking wing it. No. Go in the gym, that's enough. You're doing reps. That's impressive enough. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Who the hell cares what somebody does with one rep max? Unless you're Andrew Calori, who got on there specifically designed to burst everyone's bubble. He never called himself a puff. He went in there to shove some people up. Pit clean, it's plain and simple. That's no fucking kind of sport. It's not challenging one rep. Those assholes use every trick in the book to do the lowest range what of motion What do they call possible. them? Ego, ego lifts? Yeah. <laughs> I love doing it just to see the fucking shitty comments I get. Oh, terrible form. You're a <laughs> pussy. You gotta wait for a small one. Well, woman. Jason's commentary is always gold. Yeah. <laughs> Any plans to go to the Arnold this year? We were going to until some of you communists had a problem with us doing a making a living. <laughs> you communist cocksucker, cookie cutter conformist, you. <laughs> well, we, we would have loved to go, but you got a fucking problem with that? We fucked it. We should have just done it donation based and not the money. Yeah. It doesn't matter. They should have fucking well, donated it for us. Matter, we could have been at the Arnold. We, we could have been there. We did it wrong. But that's. You live, no, because. You live and learn. We became cookie cutters and listened to the commies. They like putting their pressure on people. They like to brainwash people. I hear it every fucking day. I hear it every day. They don't care. The government doesn't care about us. That's what they say on the bus. They don't care. Really? You hear that shit? I hear it all the time. Yeah. Oh, Trump is... Oh. Well, guess what? I wish the government didn't even know I existed. How's that? Fuck. Go off the they don't care about us black people. Fuck you. They actually expected to live in nice homes, have cars, and eat the finest food and not work. They really think the country owes them that. There's people that really do. Keep going. That's all there is to say. I mean, I'm not hearing it so much. Lenny, you want to watch the end of the Knicks Rockets game with me? Oh God! If we if we end this now, we can watch the third uh, third fourth quarter oh, starting right around now. James Harden. Never heard of her. Here's okay. oh, God. I'll allow this one. Furry Murray Murray Leather Daddy question for the podcast. Lenny, it hurts me to say this, but you have turned into the biggest cookie cutter of them all. Smoking weed and drinking at clubs with the help. Taking drugs, getting handout from the maniacs. We would all love to see you take a page from Lord Retard, a.k.a. All head, no shaft, Genova, and start from scratch. Nothing wrong with starting from the basics and working your way back up to being a fucking freak. We'll see how much of a freak I am month by month. I'm going to break scales, then I'm going to get shredded. And you're going to see Dale Chance, I want no parts of standing next to me. Because he's going to get dwarfed. Can you ask Lenny if he's ever heard the old saying, if you use your hands, it's cheating. So when he's gobbling down a big old radiator hose of a cock, <laughs> if he uses his hand, I'm not no. There's no such thing as cheating. Remember that. That's what the cookie cutters and losers say when someone's more successful than them. He must be cheating. That's what the communists say. If somebody's rich, it's because he took advantage of the poor. Bullshit. Now, let, now let me know when next time a poor person gives you a job, okay? Let me know. All right, so I'm done reading questions. Yeah. And no, to stop calling my fucking Snapchat while we're doing a podcast. You just sign out of it when you... Oh, yeah, it, it still comes through. Because we let a couple people on, now they think we're going to fucking yeah. constantly do it. No. Leonard was on a roll tonight. We didn't want to interrupt his woman-beating no. speech. All right, so we had... It's not a woman-beating so speech. We... It's physical context sends a message. It sends it to kids. People need it. it. Sends it to women as well. Give her a good smack upside the head. That's what an ass is for. That's why you smack kids on the ass. An ass is not only used to shit, it's used to get a hand on it when you're out of line. And to be honest, if I'm out of line, I'm in a club, you know, that's what security puts to beat me down a little bit, straight me out. But I don't see him doing it. So that's when you have problems in society. All right, would you want to talk about uh, your idol's day the other day while we had a day off from work? Michael King? Oh, God. Yes, yeah, just Google. Google for yourself. You think they'll present that idea? If you said that in a public school, the real Dr. King, they'll throw you out. Why this goes on, it just it escapes me. How they keep honoring this plagiaristic, communistic, womenizing, white, whore-beating scam artist. 
one of the biggest scams ever, and it's going on here, and we pandered to that. And that's, that stuff's got to stop. Well, and they can't. They took he's Colum- a they loser. Took, they took Columbus Day out of school. Because he's a white guy. You think it's because of that? Of course it is. Of course. He's a c- colonizer. He came over and took over another land. Do you ever hear the saying, might makes right? It's all that movement. The white man's bad. The third worlders have wisdom. The American Indians with the spirits, they're so wise and so perfect. (laughs) They were eating each other's newborn babies as a snack. That's a fact, which they don't teach you. This was their land. Bullshit. (laughs) I like how people, this is my, yes, you don't own shit. You got to fight for it. And if we start going back there, ways, you'll see a much stronger America and a stronger youth instead of whining and crying. He's like Gandhi, Mr. Nonviolent. How dare you get money and power through some of those cowardly acts you did? If you guys want to Google the best thing ever, they're on a bridge. I think Dr. King's leading a march. And I guess they were told, you know, don't come in here by the state police. I think I'm in Alabama or something. And the state police kept w- walk right into them. And the protesters, the cowards there, start walking back real slow. And the cops just come in with and just steamroll them, knock them all down the bridge. Check it out. It's great. Where's he at? What, what the hell? You know, his speeches, I have a dream. That was plagiarized, too. as a black revenant in the early 60s that, that came up with those speeches, and he plagiarized him, too. <clears throat> free at last, free at last. What in God's name is he talking about? Anyway, there's generalizations. What is he talking about? Did you ever hear the saying, you earn, res- you get respect, give respect, and you get respect? Have you ever heard the saying, the winner makes the rules, the winner writes histories? You People don't want to get hit They don't want to get up and fight, and they're not willing to die for anything. That's when you run into chaos. Because we may have it good now, but things continue going where they're doing, along with this people in 20 years. It's going to be a very miserable place to be. You heard it here first, and you people, and maniacs, they know it too. I'm not saying anything that's out of, but you're looking at people getting locked up because they're supposed to ancestors and slaves. You're going to look at people having to pay money to people because slavery reparations is real and white men god help us you're going to see instances where we're, you'll get jumped and we're old men and beat and that's going to be almost legal scary times coming ahead because i don't see anybody reversing the trend keep pandering to them keep doing it and this is what you reap what you're going to sow right. keep giving them a day for their don't give them anything and tell them so you got to earn it Squip pissing and moaning about stuff even I'm pray everyone's afraid to say it. They're afraid to say it. Well, I'm not. That's why we love. Yeah, and that's why I'll probably. Be, we had some sa- assassins come to my house today, and I'm going to address it. Knocked on my door. When I came out, they, they laughed and ran. It was a group of assassins. I felt like in the movie Scarface when those assassins came on the compound, and they were out to get me. And your surveillance. Wouldn't be surprised if they were sent by Dale Chance. <laughs> He's like. The guy that's in... Uh, so as soon as you opened the door, they ran? Laughing and giggling. It's him. Ran to this red car and sped off. Well, I got news for you. You come out, you can knock on my door and face me. You run off again, I'm going to take out as a threat. And I'm going to come after you. So you assassins better do what you got to do. On your bike. Imagine them hauling ass out of the neighborhood and he he knows all the shortcuts in there. He cuts them off with his fucking bike. Just sitting I'll there tell, I'll believe you know that street that goes out, there's only one way to get out of that, that fucking That car's going to get tipped. Right. Right. There's only one way out of that neighborhood. And you, right. From where you are, you can get to the front before they can. You know it. That car's going to get tipped <laughs> within minutes. Uh, you little assassins. Good thing Jay gave you all his guns when he moved. And now that you got that new camera, you start rolling when you do it. Yeah, well. Oh, he's not going to learn how to use yeah, that. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> yes, I will. I most certainly will. I need to. But I got two guns right here that'll put the put enough paint on them. <laughs> I'll pull that shit with yeah. me. What's uh, what's our going out song? What do you want to sing tonight? I think we covered all bases for tonight. I'm Someone sorry. in the comments there posted the name of a song to use as an outro. I can't remember the name of it. I saw it as I was scrolling down. It's going to be tough to find.